Welcome to the channel and welcome to this match play game between Space Wolves and Death Guard. Today on the channel, we return to Barrington 9, where my Death Guard warband, known as the End of All Things, have been rampaging through this uh, hive city. And today we come to a sector that has so far been untouched by the Great Corruptor, but everything decays, everything falls apart and leads to entropy. So for now, this place is rather pristine which is of course against my religion, my Nurgly religion, so we must murder death kill our way through this place. Now, all the uh, shopkeepers and citizenry have boarded up their walls and ran off screaming because the end of all things will be coming in from this quarter of the table here. We're playing search and destroy deployment. There's the center of the table where that dice is, a nine inch null zone there, and the space walls will be deployed on that side of the battle grid. Heroes of the Imperium, meaning to uh, stop the end of all things. And lots of large line of sight, block and train all across the table, which is very interesting. If you're entirely on one of these terrain pieces, then you will get a uh, um, plus one cover save. We're treating them as ruins, though they are not ruins. They're just boarded up and locked down. Vehicles can't go through walls, infantry can. And there are six objectives on the table. Oh, I should mention we're playing Kalends and Capture. Then cleanse and capture from the main rule book. So that's three Maelstrom cards a turn every turn. There's two objectives in the Space Wolves deployment zone, uh, one quite close by and one quite close by. And then there is only two down in the uh, Death Guard deployment zone. So I've got quite a long way to go to get out there and start despoiling this place. And will the Space Wolves stop me? I wonder. 2,200 points and we welcome a new player. A new player has entered the game. Monkey. Hi everyone. Um, thank you for coming down. No problems. You're from across the border, from a faraway land. A different land, yeah. Yes, what country are you from? I'm from Wales. From Wales. If you didn't guess by the accent. <laughs> and uh, it's free to get across that bridge now, right? Free to go back home now, yes. Yes, because you used to have to pay to leave the country. But you don't have to pay anymore, no, they've dropped the toll. <laughs> That's the reason I've come now, because I can save the 560. Yeah, 560 to cross that bridge every time you wanted to get into the UK. Did you, um, you don't need a passport either. Not anymore. No. no, that's good. Modern times. Yeah, modern times. Um, so a Welsh person has entered the game, which is good because we love Wales. I've been there quite a few times, you know. I'm climbing all over the mountains of North Wales when I was much younger. And when you were much younger, you started collecting space walls. Uh, when I was about 12 years old, I think, in the second edition time. So, uh, yeah, pictures of Ragnar and uh, all the guys in White Dwarf. Nice. Sold me, really. But... Nice. And you've brought your Space Wolves along. I don't think on YouTube I've played Space Wolves. I have. I played once against Geek Wargaming. Geeks Wargaming YouTube channel. Check them out. Very nice people. Awesome channel. Played one for that channel. Um, but we haven't played one on YouTube yet. And um, you're also a patron, and you asked if you could come down, and the patrons had a free pass. And of course you said, of course I said yes, of course you can. So uh, thank you for coming along and bringing your lovely, lovely Space Wolf army. Some retro models in there, it'd be very interesting. But before we get to the armies, why are we doing 2,200 points? Because that's the amount of guys that I think that in time for the battle report. Nice, okay. So 2,200 points of match play game. Before we get to the armies, quick couple of shout outs. Battle mat brought to you by Hot Dice Miniatures. This is one of their double-sided battle mats. They're a Canadian company. All this terrain comes from Zen Terrain. It's a long time ago now, I forget. And it was painted by... I forget that too. Um, the dice and the objective markers and things like that are all from deploymentzone.tv, the merchandise page. If you want to support us, I encourage you to uh, subscribe to deploymentzone.tv. Right, 2,200 points. The end of all things are here. Let's go have a look at this army. This is just south of 2,200 points of Death Guard and everything is subject to entropy. And we are the end of all things. And I've got a battalion detachment and the one with all the fasts in it. So three HQs, two malignant playcasters. I've given them both Miasma of Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality because they're the best spells and leading the charge is my Demon Prince Fluffy with a pair of Malefic Talons and I've given him a different spell. He knows one spell, 
Gift Contagion, so you can cast Gift Contagion and Smite. The other two know two smell spells. And uh, he's my Warlord. I've given him Arch Contaminator. So any plague weapons in my army re-roll all fail to wounds within seven inches of him. And I've also given him the suppurating plate. Basically, he has acid for blood. And if you smack him in close combat, some of that acid may spill out and uh, burn little wolves. I say little wolves. I mean eight foot tall, monstrous killing machines, the Emperor's finest. Um, six troop choices. I've got 55 Poxwalkers, a unit of 15 and two units of 20 because they're cheap and uh, we like to see a high body count and murdering all the way through them is interesting and also if they kill things in close combat then you can add box walkers back so I would like to model a few space wolves totems on some of my box walkers at the end of this game as some of these space marines succumb to the shambling pox plague I've got 30 plague marines and in each squad is two blight launchers um, this squad down here, there's a couple of close combat weapons in this squad and the sergeant just has a power fist. I say sergeant, I mean champion. Sorry mate. But in these two other squads, the champions have plasma guns as well as their power fists. Two rhinos, two plague burst crawlers with entropy cannons. I think they're the best option. Some people bring flamers on them and push them forward, but of course... All their guns have the heavy keyword, so as soon as they move, they're hitting on fives instead of fours. So they're really a backfield, shoot things away asset. And they have the, the demonic keyword, they have got a five up and vulnerable save, they have got disgustingly resilient. And then the three fasts. Uh, two fettered bloke drones with the heavy blight launchers, which are not heavy guns. They're called heavy blight launchers, but they're assault weapons, which is weird. Uh, but they are plague weapons and they chug out a lot of shots. And then one with the plague spitters just to harass and to pressure forward. Um, so essentially, a very ABC type list. No um, nasty characters in here. No uh, Terminators teleporting in uh, all over the place. Just a large body of infantry pushing forward. And I did that for the narrative, really. I mean, here we've got Fluffy and all his plague marines pushing through this sector. And as you can see, a number of the citizens, citizen, citizen, what's the word? Citizenry? People. Citizen people. A number of the people have succumbed to the curse of the walking pox and have um, now joined us in our quest to make this place fit for Grandfather Nurgle. So nine command points, bit of psychic power, bit slow and shambling, but a high body count. So um, there'll be a lot of skulls. And uh, we like skulls. No, sorry, wrong god. We like plague. Right, let's go to Space Wolves. Right, this is 2,198 of Space Wolves. Ten command points because there's a battalion and the one with the what what? The Supreme Command Detachment. And another one? And Bjorn goes plus one because he's 10,000 years old and he's pretty wise. Nice. So there's ten command points there. I do like the retro minis. Space Wolves have plus one to hit. When they charge, are charged or make a heroic intervention, so they're very clubby. And what am I looking at, sir? Who is your warlord, warlord traits, etc.? So, warlord. I like your command is, point uh, tokens, by the way, they are very pretty. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, warlord is uh, Nivag Troshvik. Nice. He's a uh, wolf lord and a thunder wolf, um, thunder hammer storm shield. He's got the um, saga of the wolf king yes. as his warlord trait. What is that? Just plus one attack, nice and simple. Cool. And then if he performs his Deed of Legend, so if he slays five things, five infantry, um, once he does that, he sort of unlocks, and then he gives that bubble for um, everyone around him within six inches. So does he get an extra attack, or does everyone around him get an extra he attack? He gets an extra attack from the start, yes. once he kills five things, everybody else around him gets an extra attack as nice. well. Nice. And seeing as there's lots and lots of Poxwalkers out there, that should unlock at some yeah. point. He should be able to complete his saga. So, Particularly as he's smacking things with two with that Thunder Hammer, hitting on twos. So just in case as well, he's got uh, his relic, which is the Wolfen Stone, which right. is also plus one attack for um, anybody within three inches of him. Okay. So, and that affects him as well? Affects him as well. So he's got plus two attacks? Indeed. Hitting mm. on twos with Thunder Hammer. On a Thunder Cavalry mount. Lot of Thunder. On a big wolf. I can, uh, he's definitely a priority target then. And um, we have Bjorn, Bjorn the Fell Handed. His narrative in the Horus Heresy is beyond epic. Um, and uh, so he's a venerable dreadnought. 
Hitting on twos all round. Yes, hitting on twos. Um, and he's a character, which means I can't target him. He is indeed. And he's also got a legendary tenacity. Right. So uh, every time he takes a wound, five plus, he ignores it. Okay, so Venerable Dreadnoughts normally ignore wounds on a six. Indeed. But this guy's got disgustingly resilient. Well, he's not disgusting, but he is resilient. Yes, okay. Uh, what else? Where are we going? So we've got uh, um, fast attack choice. Right. Uh, three th Thunderbolt calves, um, two stone hammers, sorry, two thunder hammers, stone shields. Um, one axe with uh, storm shield as well. Cool. Um, we've then got a um, unit of elites, which is the wolf guard in the middle. These guys? Yeah, so... Um, Why are they elites? They look normal to me, except that they've got some weird weapons. Got I, hammers and shields and swords and things. Yeah, I think uh, they can just... They've got the pick of the war gear. So oh, they, right, uh, okay. They're always the kind of uh, the, the retinue for the uh, for the wolf lord. So okay. They're the main man. Really. And you've given them all jump packs? All jump packs. So um, they can keep up with your wolf lord? Either that or maybe a bit of deep, deep striking into the back lines. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Well, depends how I go. Yeah, I like it. So then we've got um, uh, troops choices. So yes. the troops, um, six grey hunters. Yes. Um, one plasma gun. All chain swords give them an extra attack as well. Brilliant. Um, the pack leader has got a, um, a power sword. They'll be riding in a razorback. Old school razorback. I haven't Old seen school. one of these models for a long time. Twin assault cannons. They're so diddy. I like them. Uh, okay, these are more troops. More troops. Uh, nine grey hunters. Okay. Um, one with a power axe. Um, some people say he looks a bit like He Man. I think they're probably right as well. He does look a bit like He Man. <laughs> he does actually. Um, unintentional, but he was a great guy, He Man. <laughs> um, you've got a wolf guard um, pack leader at the front as well with a combi melter. Okay. And a frost sword. Okay. And then there's also a melter in that squad as well. Yes. Um, riding in an old school Diddy Rhino. Brilliant. So you can fit 10 guys in there. It's a bit of a squash, but they're all good. <laughs> Got to pack in. Yeah. Another three-man squad? Uh, another six-man squad. Six of, man. Um, Why did I say three? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a uh, flamer in that one. Again, the um, pack lead has got a, a power sword. Yep. And, and they're riding in a, a Stormfang gun gunship. Okay. So this is the one with all the guns. It, Laz and Hurricane or Laz and Melters? Laz and Heavy Bolters. Laz and Heavy Bolters. Yeah, couldn't afford the... Um, the melters because they were just a bit too a uh, bit too pricey. Though, so. And that thing poking out its front is that another gun as well? It is indeed. It is the um, Hellfrost Destructor. So there's two modes of fire. Yeah. One which is dispersed and one which is focused. Okay. And uh, dispersed is uh, heavy D heavy three D three strength six. Three D three. Three D three, which is a bit of an odd number. Nice. Um, focus beam is heavy three and that's strength eight. Does that power the machine spirit? Power machine spirit as well, yeah. Brilliant. And um, the What's... Hellfrost Destructor, if targets take a wound, yeah. they're not killed. Um, on a six, they get a mortal wound as well. Okay, so it's got lots of guns. What's the transport capacity in one of these things? Uh, six on one of those. Okay. Or the other variant is without the uh, Hellfrost Destructor, so you can fit about 12 in there. Power the machine spirit. Is it toughness seven or toughness eight? Cause, uh... Toughness seven. Do you guys have access to Storm Ravens, or is this your Storm Raven? This is our Storm Raven. Okay. We've got the access to the little Diddy one with the last cannons. Yes. It's not worth taking really. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a Trilaz Predator with all the last cannons. Yep. And then a Sakaran Punisher. Yes. Which is very interesting because that on its shoulder there is a huge anti-infantry killing gun. Is it Heavy 18? Heavy 18. Heavy 18, strength 5, minus 1. So yep. when that thing spools up, you think the twin assault cannons with 12 shots is enough gun. It's got 18 shots. And um, Punishers have got that rule, if they stay still, they re-roll hit rolls a one as well. Indeed they do, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And they um, put heavy bolters on the side. Yeah, three heavy bolters on the side as well. So that's 24 shots at strength 5 minus 1 AP. E that's maths. It's more than I think. two heavy bolters, that's six plus, shots. Plus, plus one three. in the front. Or oh, one in the front as well. Yeah, just a little one poking out the middle. Look. Nice. 27 shots. Yes. <laughs> that's maths. I like it. <laughs> uh, cool. And Supreme Command Attachment. So, Supreme Command Detachment, um, you've got um, a Rune Priest, yes. yet unnamed. Okay, so maybe he will earn his saga today. Maybe he'll die in the first round and you won't deserve a name. <laughs> um, you've got a Wolf Guard Battle Leader on uh, Thunderwolf. Nice. So he gives the old re-rolling uh, ones to wound. Ah, so he's your Lieutenant equivalent. He is indeed, yeah. And then um, we've got a Wolf Priest. Right. So this is Space Wolf equivalent of Chaplain slash Apothecary. So what I'm looking at is a Librarian, a Lieutenant and a Chaplain. Chaplain slash apothecary. He's a chaplain and an apothecary. Yeah, so that's Brother Ranoff. Uh, he's got um, jump pack, plasma pistol, crozius, um, 
there's the guy's reroll hits in um, combat. Okay. And he's also got some healing bombs. Nice. So if they're suffering from a bit of a cold or a bit of a, a pox, he can rub some fix on their chest. Nice. And uh, make them all nice and healthy. He's got a smashing mas mustache. <laughs> yes. So we've got these guys. I see some synergy coming along here, like um, the wolves and him keeping up with these guys. So you've got reroll hit rolls of one, reroll wound rolls of one. Yes. He'll give you reroll everything, sorry. Yes. Um, and you can heal back again. So there's, there's some, definitely some synergy in this list. I like it. However, I outnumber you about three to one. Yeah, yeah. But you've got a lot of anti-infantry gun here. The firing lanes on this battle grid are going to be key. Right, psychic prowess on your not librarian. Okay, so uh, we've got living lightning. Yep. Uh, which does uh, D three mortal wounds, but if it kills the unit, mm -hmm. mortal wounds can spill over to the next unit as well. Cool. So you can sort of chain a chain effect because they don't do warp powers. It's all kind of good, healthy earth magics. Yes, it's the uh, world engine Fenris itself. Mm -hmm. um, does that ever happen? Does it ever chain? Once. Once. Once I think I took out an extra guardsman, which was uh, great times. Nice. Um, the other thing they've got is uh, Jaws of the World Wolf. Yep. Um, so this is an interesting one where you roll 2d6, yep. take away the target's movement characteristics, yep. anything that's left over is mortal wounds. Ooh, cool. The Poxwalkers have a movement of 4, Plague Marines have a movement of 5, and you roll 2d6? Yes. Ooh. What's the range on that? The range is uh, 18 inches. 18? I don't like the colour of this guy's jib. Right. Space Wolves, 2,200 points of um, wolves coming here to destroy the end of all things. Will they be successful? Well, it's gone to deployment. And we're deployed for this 2,200 point game of cleanse and capture. Everything for the end of all things is down on the table. And when we started sticking models down, because we're doing search and destroy deployment, some of these fire lanes are absolutely brutal. And some of them are completely blocked off. So it might end up a game of movement warfare in the first couple of turns, picking the choice deployment zones. I've kept one of my malignant playcasters next here, next to this objective, because he can throw out his bus for. Yes, he won't be in smite range, but he can start buffing away. And Fluffy, my warlord, is there along with two of the drones. And then there's 10 Plague Marines in that rhino and 10 Plague Marines there. So I have got quite a good footprint on the uh, right flank. 20 plague marines and then I kind of block myself off on the left flank I put the fair bloat drone over here so it can move forward and start swooping around there's two objectives quite close to each other you see um, but this rhino isn't going anywhere it can't go through the wall I'm going to have to move a tank to um, start making my way up the table um, I did think about putting both tanks over here but again I need to I need to push around this way first. What I should have done is put the Rhino down first, but I didn't. I put the tanks down first, trying to open up firing lanes down here. And you've put your Predator all the way over there because Entropy Cannon's 36 inch range on the Entropy Cannon, so I can't actually reach out and touch that Land Raider with my anti-tank weaponry. The Mortars can hit, but Laz Cannon's a 48 inch range, so that Laz Cannon uh, Predator has got these two Plague Burst Crawlers in its sight and my most effective weaponry is not uh, not in range yet and then the wolf priest and the wolf guard did i get that right yes, yes the wolf well priest on. and the wolf guard well are hurtling down on wings of fire from high orbit and um there's a squad in there along with the librarian room priest room priest <laughs> and there's bjorn and uh the squad inside that rhino the big squad along with the wolf guard and your warlord, along with the big, big punisher tank, which I'm sure will swing out and, uh, well, basically start guarding this central approach here. Um, because the uh, wolf lord and his uh, thunder wolf cavalry are around on this flank, that's why I kind of left this flank a little bit weaker um, and overloaded this way. I didn't want him charging into my tanks. So I've got my Plague Marines guarding this particular avenue of attack. And of course, is it a Stormwolf? Stormwolf Flyer? Stormfang. Stormfang. Storm That's the one with the guns. Is there a Stormwolf Flyer? It's a Stormwolf. It's more of a transport type of... And this is a Stormfang? Yes. Okay, Stormfang Flyer. I'm going to get a couple of these names wrong throughout this battle report. I'm going to need a hand. Um, how many wolves are there on Fenris? It depends on what kind of law, if you check these days, because it used to be none. Yes. But I think these days the current law is that the um, 
the descendants of ancient settlers' dogs that they go along. Yes. Which is not as good as the old law, which is people who go bonkers um, and don't succumb to chaos, they turn to wolves instead. There's no chaos in Benris. No. It's uh, the, the world engine, the world spirit, the world serpent. Isn't there supposed to be a Tyranid high fleet buried underneath it? I don't know. They say Krakens. There is, there is lots of talk of Krakens, so it might be. I know Fenris, uh, well, sorry, Leon Russ himself said that there were no wolves on Fenris. Um, and um, it's not a nice place to be at the moment. You've got a few thousand suns hanging out there as well, haven't you? Sadly, yeah. Yeah. Magnus has taken control, has pitched up a summer home on Fenris. It's a, a bad place in the narrative for the Space Wolves. Mind you, the Blood Angels aren't doing much better. Mind you, who is? This is the grim, dark 41st millennium. No one's doing particularly well. Right, um, we're doing Chapter Approved 2017 roll off to see who goes first. You dropped one unit before me. So um, I'm going to roll a dice and then you're going to get plus one to the dice roll. Let's, so let's see if you can beat a five. Can you beat a five? Nope. Three. No, so the Death Guard will be going first, unless you want to steal from me. I'll try to steal, yeah. Stealing's bad. Don't do this at home, kids. Nope. No stealing of the initiative. The Death Guard, strangely enough, have the initiative. I don't think that happens very often. Let's go on to Death Guard, turn one. And then we just realised I forgot to put down a unit of Poxwalkers. I put them there because I don't know where to put them. Right, now let's have a look at the cards. Fluffy shouts out his orders in turn one. Kill, kill, kill. Overwhelming firepower, kill something in the shooting phase. And big game hunter, make sure it's a vehicle, something with wounds of ten or more. And blood of guts, blood and guts, kill something in the punchy phase. So... We are angry. We are the end of all things. Here we are after the Death Guard movement phase as the end of all things advance happily into this sector of Babington 9. I say happily because Nurgle is not a god of suffering. He is a god of life and laughter and rebirth. And that took a lot of thinking. Um, I've moved both of my tanks, which means they're going to be hitting on fives. Um, but at the start of the shooting phase, which we haven't got to yet, but so I don't forget. I'm going to spend a command point on Blasphemous Machines so this one can fire as though it, uh, without the negative to hit because of its heavy weaponry. And the Pogswalk has advanced, the Rhino advanced, the Fetid Blotro advanced. There's an objective here and an objective here which I need to get to. And the Thunder Cav and all the other stuff is over there. So trying to rush around here with the um, units that I have available to me on the left flank and then Poxwalk is advancing around the back castle aware of stuff that could deep strike in so um, there's a bit of a footprint so can't fit in a unit here or because you've got the nine inches then the nine inches there can't be anything hurtling down from the skies in my back castle yet must remember to keep that footprint going Plague Marines advancing through the buildings on the right flank and everything round on the right flank didn't advance because I am in range and line of sight on some uh, death Death guard? I was going to call them Death Guard. No, that's you. Yes, that's me. Yeah. You're Space Wolves. I am. I'm in range of some wolves. Um, let's go on to the Psychic phase. All right, let's check out Putrescent Vitality on that lot there. I need a six. And that passes. That means that they're going to be plus one strength and plus one toughness. And they're in, we're counting these as ruins. So currently they're toughness six with a turp save. So that's useful. Thinking about putting Miasma of Pestilence on them as well. Because there should be a lot of shots spooling up and aiming for them. But I might want to put it on my tank. No, I'll put it on these. I'll definitely shoot at them. So let's put it on them as well. I need a six. And that's a ten. So that passes. Are you in range of denying? Um, mind you, I'd have done it from this back guy here, chucking them forward, so you're definitely not in range of denying him. Okay, let's shoot some guns. Now, this unit of Plague Marines that are now spelled up to the max did advance, but Death Guard can fire their assault weaponry without the negative to hit. Inexorable advance. And I put the two Blight Launchers at the front there, and I need Big Game Hunter, and I need to kill something in the shooting phase. And there's a Rhino sticking out. Now, I would really actually like to fire at the Thunderwolf Cavalry, but uh, they're cavalry, so they're not going to be able to get up on the ruins to trouble my infantry at this stage. They are a bigger threat than the rhino, and it is only a rhino, but it's two points. And it's first blood. So let's fire the two blight launchers in at the rhino. I'm hitting on threes. And I'm re-rolling ones because I made sure I'm in six inches range of fluffy my demon prints. So I get three hits through. 
Strength 6, Weaponry, Toughness 7 on a Rhino, need 5s, and reroll to Wound because of Arch Contaminator, because there's Fluffy. It's like I planned it. And I get 2 wounds through, 2 wounds at minus 2, sir, so 2 fire-up saves. Good luck. And you make 1. It does D3 damage. Get 2 wounds on the Rhino, right, 8 more to get through. Better bloke drone number 1, firing in, 4s uh, to hit. And uh, I only get 2 hits. Look at all those 3s. Um, strength 6, I need 5s, and I reroll to wound because of Arch Contaminator, it's a plague weapon. One more 5 up save, sir. Which you fail, D3 damage. For 3 more damage. The Rhino's on 5 wounds left, let's try and crack it open with the last heavy blight launcher. 36 inch range, coming in hot. 4s to hit, rerolling once, there's a 1. And this time I managed to get 4 hits through. Target acquired here. These dice are available from diplomazone.tv. A merchandise page. Strength 6. Um, no wounds. And reroll to wounds because of Arch Contaminator. And it is a plague weapon. One more wound. One more 5 up save on your rhino. Okay, here we go. No. D3 damage. For 3 damage. It's got 2 wounds left. But it survives all this fusillade. Hmm. Right, that's all the firepower from this flank. The Rhino didn't advance, it flicked out and smashed into the um, uh, Space Wolf Rhino. Didn't do any damage though. So now we're coming around here. So now I need to kill it. This thing is out of range with its entropy cannons up the table, but its mortar can fire indirectly. So I will fire it up indirectly, up and over 48 inch range, down onto the Rhino with only two wounds left. It has D6 shots for five shots. But it's hitting on fives because it moved. And it gets two hits through. I like it. Strength eight, toughness seven, three to wound. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. One wound, one minus two, five up save. Trying right to up. keep the rhino alive. Come on, my little guy. No. D3 damage. It's on two wounds left, right? So all I need is a three. Yay. Dead rhino. Does it go kablooey on a six? Nope. It doesn't go kablooey, but that is overwhelming firepower and big game hunter and first blood. How many guys inside that thing? Ten. Ten, ten. guys. Ten wolfy guys. Oh dear. Oh, uh, you roll three. Two ones. Two ones. Two get caught in the explosion as they disembark. And the unit pile out of the wreckage. That's He-Man's unit there. He's, uh, he's very angry already. Right, I think the last thing in my list that can reach out and touch is this uh, Plague Burst Crawler, which has got blasphemous machines on. So I will fire up and in at your Predator. Um, I've got four shots with the Stubber Slugger, the Strength 5 weaponry. And force to hit because of blasphemous machines. Fives to wound, doesn't wound. Right, two entropy cannons coming in. This could sting if I hit. I hit once. Strength 8, toughness 7 on the Predator. I need a 3. Doesn't wound. I'm going to command point that. Because <laughs> it's AP minus four, you won't get a save. So just a three to wound. I wound. AP minus four, no save. And this does D6 damage. Hmm. Three damage. Now D6 shots with the Plague Burst Mortar for four shots. Hitting on fours. Really want to bracket this thing. Two hits get through. Strength eight. Two wounds get through, two saves of minus two, so two five up saves, sir. Here we go. You make one, D3 damage for two. So in total, only five wounds off the Predator, it is not bracketed. And after shells rain around that Predator, the gunfire falls silent as the end of all things reload their ammo hoppers. That is the end of the shooting phase. In fact, that's the end of turn one, no morale tests to take anywhere. For the space wolves, they know no fear anyway. Um, and I'm going to ditch blood and guts that objective at the end of this turn because I don't think I'm going to be killing anything anytime soon, and I'd rather draw another card next turn. But I have got three points: first bloods and big game hunter and uh, overwhelming firepower. So it's three points to zero for the end of all things as they advance into this sector of Babington Nine. Now let's see how the space wolves respond. In turn one. And here are the orders for the Space Wolves in turn one. They mean to advance cautiously and take and defend objectives. All of these objectives are close to their deployment zone or in their deployment zone. Secure one, defend two, 
defend five. And so the hunt has begun for the Space Wolves, but the Jarl has ordered them to secure ground first. Now there was a squad inside this Razorback before it moved that way. They got out and they advanced, and they're now securing objective one. So there's a point right there. And the Wolf Priest that was next to the Razorback has jumped up and is defending objective five. And the Punisher Sakaran is defending objective two. Yes, that's objective two. So if they are in control of these two objectives at the end of my turn, there'll be five points to three because they're securing that one over there. So um, spreading out and taking uh, control of the battle grid before they launch their offensive. He-Man's unit has clambered up onto this objective here. Potential first turn charge coming up against that miasma of pestilence dizzed um, plague marine squad. And the Stormfang, did I get it right? Correct. Stormfang is zipping along this way, along with the Thunderwolf cavalry. So um, one more turn before their blades sink into the end of all things. But for now, we're going to move on to the psychic phase. Right, the Rune Priest casting Jaws of the Werewolf onto the Poxwalkers. You need a 7. And that's a 10. I will try and deny you. I do have a Malignant Playcaster up here. And I get a 10, which doesn't beat you, so it doesn't deny. So that's a pass. Roll 2d6, minus my movement. So you rolled a, four, a 6. My movement is 4. So I take two mortal wounds, which I can ignore on a 5 up with Disgustingly Resilient. And I ignore both of them. <laughs> First disgustingly resilient roll of the game. Look at that. Pretty disgusting. <laughs> it's really disgusting. <laughs> and it's only on Poxwalkers. Right, that's the end of the psychic phase. No other psychic shenanigans happening out of sight or line of range and whatever. And anyway, we're going to go in the force. Hopefully a bit better in the shooting phase. Let's hope so. so yeah, I'm a bit tongue-tied from that. <laughs> right, let's um, let's fire some guns. Right, in the shooting phase, this squad of Space Wolves fired in at the Plague Marines, didn't do any damage. Now B Bjorn is spooling up his assault cannon. We'll be hitting on twos, but hitting on threes because of Miasma of Pestilence. We're rolling one because he's Bjorn. Yep, because he's a legend. Um, five hits. Strength six on the assault cannon, but I'm toughness six right now with putrescent vitality, so force to wound. Have you got any re-rolls for that? Just out of the range of the... Uh, yeah? The one who's okay, so it's minus one because it's an assault cannon, but plus one because I'm in terrain. So three up save. And five up disgustingly resilient. Bjorn finds a is his target. He does destroy one of the Plague Marines. Right, next up, this Razorback really wants to fire up at these Plague Marines here, but can't see through the Miasma of Pestilence. Basically be a fives to hit them. So Monkey's deciding to fire at the Plague Poxwalkers instead. Uh, fours to hit because you moved and the twin assault cannon is heavy. Mm -hmm. We only one because of Bjorn. Yes, sir. So, strength six versus toughness three, winning on twos. Um, that's many wounds. Um, it burns through the armor, which is a seven up, doesn't help me. I need disgustingly resilience. I only make one, so that assault cannon takes out seven. And one more Poxwalker died to the Stormbolter on the Razorback. Now we're coming around to this flank here, and there are options. And um, Monkey's decided to try and crack open the Rhino with the Stormfang because then the Sakaran can potentially chew through the Plague Marines that pop out of it. So what we're doing, we're doing the focus mode on the big gun of Doom. What's it called? The Hellfrost Destructor. Is going into the Rhino along with two LAS cannons, and then the Heavy Bolters, which there's four of them, can see through to this unit of Poxwalkers that took a pounding from the Razorback last turn. So, Heavy Thingy Bob Destructor. Firing at the rhino. So hit on threes, power the machines for it, and yes. re-rolling ones to hit as well. Okay. Nice. So re-rolling ones. Okay. Two hits. Strength. Strength eight. Okay. Winning on threes. Re-rolling ones. Oh. Two. And it's AP minus? AP minus four. Four? Okay. Indeed. No armor save. No armor save. Uh, D D6 damage. Oh, what a great weapon. Five. And there's seven. something else as well. So if you suffer an unsaved wound, yes. on the roll of a six, you suffer a mortal wound as well. Right, okay. Nice. And the six actually happened. So he took yeah. six wounds off of it. It's only got four wounds left. And there's two last cannons on this fly, right? Same again, yep. Can it polish off the rhino? Let's see. Three's the hit. Both hit. Two hits. Three's to wound. One wound. And there's the left cannon. Is... Because my man there. Yep, nice. So one wound gets through. I need a six up save. 
And I make the six up save. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good roll. Good roll. <laughs> <laughs> Right, then the heavy bolters fired out and uh, there's only three poxwalkers left over here and now they're gone. Nine heavy bolter shots coming in from the Sikaram Punisher and its big gun is firing in at this rhino here, heavy 18. Hitting on threes and re-rolling ones. After the re-roll that was 15 hits. Now it's strength five, toughness seven, so winning on fives. But you're re-rolling ones because the lieutenant, what's his name? It's not lieutenant. He's a Wolfguard battle leader. Wolfguard battle leader is stood nearby. Six wounds get through, minus one. And I failed two of those saves. The rhino's still chugging along with two wounds left. So 27 shots on that horrible, horrible tank. But um, it's definitely an anti-infantry weapon because the rhino is still alive. I think we're getting to the end of the shooting phase for the Space Wolves. There's a bread as the left of fire. Where do you want to fire the Predator, sir? That's something big and juicy, I think. Yes. So there's some tanks over here. Yeah, I think um, we want to plague those mortars, I think. We'll yeah? Go Which one? This one? Closer one? Or the further one? Or the closer one? Anyone got buffs on them? You could fire a Rhino, you know, because um, that's what I did. Spending all of my first turn firing at a Rhino and not taking any of your weapons away whatsoever. No line of sight. Oh. Line of sight blocking terrain is in the way. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Uh, no buffs on either of these things, no, Excellent. except for the fact that they're invulnerable saves and disgustingly resilient, and they're blessed by Grandfather Nurgle. We'll go for the closest one. Okay. Just because I'm lazy. Three's to hit. Uh, target acquired there. Um, three hits. Strength nine, toughness eight. Three's to wound. All three wounds get through. Nasty. Five up invulnerable save, because I am demonic. And I only make one, so 2d6 damage. There's 12 wounds in total. And that was only three. Do you want to command point or are you happy yeah, with that? Yeah, we'll, we'll do, um, we'll probably command point You haven't spent any of them yet. They're all known. Yes. Okay, six. Okay. Six is okay. Six okay. isn't bad. It could be worse. It could have been two. Uh, five up, disgustingly resilient. And I passed three of them. Right, that is the end of the Space Wolves shooting phase. They've tickled a lot of things and only killed a unit of Poxwalkers. A shame hasn't taken out that Rhino yet. However, he just declared a charge on the Rhino with the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Overwatch missed. But this is 10 inches to get in there, so good luck. And that's a six. So the Thunderwolf Cavalry want to charge into combat, but they're not there yet. And that is the end of Space Wolves Turn 1. Howls echo through the streets of Barrington 9. It's three points to the Death Guard, one point to the Space Wolves. It's about to heat up in Turn 2. Here are the orders for the end of all things. Fluffy still wants to kill, kill, kill. Death gets life. For every seven models I kill, I get a point. Assassinate, take out a character for a point. And secure objective four. Now that's right in the centre of the battle grid. Here we are after the Death Guard movement phase. And strangely enough, the Death Guard have quite a bit of board control. This doesn't happen every day. Um, spreading out and advancing with the Poxwalkers here. Um, this spider pattern is basically deep strike denial screen. So you can't drop within nine inches of any uh, of my units. You could put the guys with the jump packs right back in the corner of the game. Uh, game board and I'm quite happy with that because if you do land in here then you've got a malignant playcaster and a poxwalker to take out before you make your way up to the rest of the juicy stuff yeah that makes sense to me um, round here some difficult decisions there's objective four so I am scoring objective four and you're defending away so that'll make it four points to five and uh, him jumping forward movement ten up and over and onto it and the Plague Marines got out before the Rhino came around here. Again, making sure the Rhino has moved. If I'd left it there, then again, some jumpy dudes could have landed in here. The Assault guys. What are they called, the, the guys? Wolfguard. Wolfguard could have landed in here and then charged the Plague Marines. Don't want that to happen. Um, because they're going to get charged by the Thunderwolf Cavalry if I don't kill them utterly. So, Plague Marines, Fetter Bloat Drone, Fluffy, Smiting, dead Thunderwolf Cavalry. That's the plan. Take objective four. The Plague Marines are making their way over onto the bridge and we're about to see an epic confrontation over the bridge there, right on top of the center of the battle grid. The interesting thing about this is 
Um, you can only fight if you're within an inch of an enemy model or an inch of an inch. So only the ones at the front and only the ones at the front will be fighting each other. The ones at the back will be trying to push their way through this narrow corridor to get to the Space Wolves but won't be able to engage them. Um, but uh, I know they hit on twos and I know they're Space Wolves but we know no fear. Um, we know a little bit of fear. You know no fear. That's us. Yeah. That's you. We know... We know smelly things. Um, the fettered bloat drone jumping up and over here. Poxwalk is advancing as well, pushing out the screen. And the two tanks staying still, because as we know, the one on the left can see the Predator. The one on the right has got shots with his entropy cannon in on that Razorback over there. Haven't moved the Malignant Playcaster forward, because I am in smite range as well. So um, let's do some psychic stuff. Right, starting back here with this mal malignant playcaster, I am just within 18 inch range of these guys again. So let's put putrescent vitality on them, so I'm strength 5 before I go wheeling in on these space walls. Need a 6, and that passes on 11. And now um, Miasma of Pestilence, which this one on the left is going to have to cast. I'm going to put it on this squad now, not the one on the bridge, because they've got their two up in cover. They haven't, so Miasma of Pestilence on them. And that passes. You can deny, but you're going to need a 12. Okay. The... I will give it a go. Why not? Miles away. Right. Now this uh, Malignant Playcaster casting Smite. And that's a 9. That passes. D3 mortal wounds for... What's that? That's a 3. That's a 6. So that's 3 wounds on the Razorback. Now my Demon Prince, Fluffy, is going to cast Gift of Contagion, Rot, Glorious Rot, on these Thunder Wolf Cabri. I need a 7. And that passes. Um, then you roll a d3. For three, 5, yeah. Minus 1 toughness on your Thunder Wolf Cabri. Ouch. That is very nice. That's the end of the psychic phase, and I'm not lie to you, that was perfect. Minus one toughness on those cav. Pretty good. Yeah, because they're down to toughness four now, four. right? Yeah. So this is going to sting, because the unit in front of them is now going to unload everything into them, and I'm going to spend a command point on veterans of the long war. We have been fighting this long war for 10,000 years, and our bolt guns flying into the thunder cav, hitting on threes, and re-rolling ones because of my demon prince. That was 10 hits. Now, bolt guns are strength 4. You would be toughness 5, but now you're toughness 4, because the gift of Grandfather Nurgle, Nurgle is washing over you. So we would be 4s to wound, but with uh, Veterans of Long War, 3s to wound. This synergy is working-ish, except that I didn't roll many wounds. 5 wounds, 3 up save, and you take 2 wounds. Do they start with 3 each? 3 each, yeah. So they're still alive. Let's fire 2 Blight Launchers in. And they, everything hits. Strength six. So now I'm winning on twos because of veterans. And they all wound at minus two. But you've got storm shields on everyone, right? Three up and down. Yep. Yes. Never leave home without them. Nope. And you fail one. It does D3 damage, so I do kill one. Because one was on one wound left. Command point, that one, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. He's alive. Okay, so let's overcharge my plasma gun. Um, because if I kill one, it'll do two. Yeah, let's overcharge the plasma gun. Um, hitting on threes and re-rolling that one, which will kill my champion. Okay, I hit. <laughs> Strength eight, toughness four, um, twos. One three up and vulnerable save. He holds his shield high and takes the shots. Okay, let's find this rhino in at them. Fives, two hits. No wounds. Okay. Um, right. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> I was in rapid fire there. A couple more shots from the rhino went in. Didn't do any damage. Right. I wanted more Thunder Cav dead. I'll not lie to you. I wanted some of them screaming in the streets. So then I could put some shots from the Feta Bloat Drones into the flyer or into something else. Um, but now I'm going to have to keep shooting at them. So let's fire Feta Bloat Drone number one, a point blank range into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. I can't possibly miss. Only I hit three times. Oh, reroll ones. Because of Fluffy. Actually, I hit five times because I'm hitting on fours. Well done, Fluffy. Shouting instructions. Uh, strength six, toughness four, winning on threes. I'm re rolling everything because of Arch Contaminator. Oh, there you go, that one there. Uh, five wounds get through. Oh. Five three up Storm Shield saves. Out. Good luck, sir. And you fail only one. D3 damage, so finally cutting down one of the Thunderwolf Cavalry. 
They should really be more dead. Um, let's fire the other wolf headed bloke drone into the Thunderwolf cavalry. Pause. And, whoa, that's five hits again. They've never, never worked this well. Threes. They all wound. Five wounds in on the Thundercat. So, three, five, three up in vulnerable saves. I feel honoured to be part of this epic dice rolling. Thank you. And uh, that worked. Only one gets through. D3 damage. Three wounds each, right? Yep. So all I need is a five or six. Look at that, that's a six. Let's face it, there should probably be more dead by now. Should be Maybe. Deader. 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 But now only two is dead. Right, then I had decisions, decisions. I have this Plague Marine squad on the bridge here, which are re-rolling ones because we are in range of Fluffy. And what I decided to do was fire all the bolt gun shells down at this squad of space wolves and the blight launchers and plasma guns into this thunder cav. Now, despite them having a two up save, I did manage to kill two with bolt guns, so that made me happy. Um, now we're firing plasma gun and blight launchers down into the remaining thunder wolf cavalry overcharging the plasma. The gun is 10,000 years old, the trigger is cooked, one of them hits, and I am now wounding, I'm strength eight, your toughness four, wounding on a two, that's a wound. Three up and vulnerable save, sir. Okay. You may fail it. So that's two damage. One wound left. Two blight launchers. Um, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. Two wounds. Uh, two three up and vulnerable saves, or he did. He died. It. You boys did. He died. It. Finally, the Thunderwolf cavalry fall. Right, so that's this entire flank fired. I have got rid of the Thundercap, however there is the Lieutenant who's not a Lieutenant. Wolfguard Battle Leader. And the Captain who's not a Captain. He's Wolf Lord. <laughs> and there is some stuff inside the Stormfang as well, so um, I've removed a target finally. Let's face it, until then the only thing I'd really killed was a Rhino and killed a couple of um, Space Marines on the bridge. So uh, yeah, that's that flank. Let's come back over to this left flank now. Where to fire first? Oh, Fetter Bloke Drone, before I forget. So 2d6 spitters. He's got two spitters. They're d6 auto hits each. And I get three hits in. Yeah. Strength six. Um, two wounds and minus one on your space walls. Four ups. They're fine. They love it. Good it's life. just a cold shower. Uh, right. Um, Plague Burst Crawler number one firing in at Razorback. Let's do the stubbery things. Sluggers, I forget what it's called. Oh, three hits. Strength five. Uh, two wounds at minus one on your Razorback. And he takes a wound. Five wounds left. And then Entropy Cannons. Fours. And both miss. <laughs> D6 shots from the mortar. Steel rain from the sky. Three shots come in on fours. One hit. Strength eight. It wounds at minus two. But the armor stands firm. Hmm. Okay. So the other one, the only thing that can reach out and touch with the Plague Burst is the Plague Burst Mortal, which I'll do up and over. I think he's bracketed now, but if I don't take him out, you are going to start chewing through crawlers. Last turn, you were unfortunate just taking a couple of wounds off this one, so I have to take him out with a mortar. But the two entropy cannons can sneak out and see that Razorback there. So let's put two entropy cannons into the Razorback, and both of them hit. Can they wound? One of them can. It's minus four, so no save. Seven wounds left. <laughs> and it hit the floor. Six. Target acquired. Target acquired. It's got one wound left. And now can the stubber, slugger, strength five, four shotgun, take it out. Three hits. One wound left. Five to wound. One wound. Four up save. 50-50 chance to get the razor back alive. Oh, no. no, and the Razorback, does he blow up and kill your Rune Priest? Let's hope not. He doesn't blow up, and that's the Razorback gone. Nice, and then the Mortar will fire up and over and hit the tank. For five shots, I like it. Fours to hit. Four hits. This is going well. Um, three to wound. Three wounds at minus two. Three five up saves. And you make one of them. So, 2d3 damage, 5 wounds on the Predator. And that's 4 wounds. It's got 1 wound left. I've got command point. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yes, 
<laughs> yes, let's command point and reroll that one. I haven't done any in the shooting phase so far. Just need better than a 1 2. Yay, dead predator. Right, that's the end of my shooting phase, and that actually was quite successful. I took out a Razorback, a Predator, the Thunderwolf Cavalry, so that's five units dead right there. And I've killed two in this squad from bolt gunfire, so that's death begets life, so that's a point. And that is also a point for securing objective four. So that makes it five points to one. Now, the interesting thing is, do I want to charge? Do I want to charge this squad? Is there any power fists in the squad or something? Nope, just a power sword. Mm, yeah, I probably want to charge them, yeah. So the Feather Bloke Drone will have a charge on that. And do I want to charge anything around here? Oh yes, of course. I want to charge on the bridge. And we're going to go in here. So let's move on to the charge phase. Right, we've done the overwatch on the catwalk. No damage caused. And now I need a 5 inch charge. And that's an 8. So they are going to be in. Meanwhile, over here, the Grey Hunters are engaged by the Fettered Bloat Drone. No damage done to the drone on the way in. Okay, I better start over here, in case there is any paying in to interrupt. The Plague Marines have formed an orderly line as they've charged over the catwalk. And uh, interestingly enough, there's only three that can engage. He's in close combat. These last two here are within an inch of someone who's within an inch. It's only three attacks. But that guy is my fist. So uh, first, with some Plague Knives, threes to hit. And uh, I'm strength 5 right now because of putrescent vitality. So 3 is to wound. That's a wound. Normal armor save on that, sir. Okay. All yes. good. And then I shall hit you with my power fist. Fours. One hit. Um, I'm strength 10 right now. That's a wound. Can you make a 6 up save? Probably not, but we'll find out. I crush you. I crush one of them. And that's the end of that combat. Would you like to pay to interrupt the Fettered Bloat Drone? No, thank you. Okay, forced to hit with the drone. Three attacks. And I get a one, two hits in. It is strength six. And it is a plague weapon. So only one wound at minus two. And uh, I do kill one. Couldn't kill one by spitting on them, but I can kill one by ramming into you and uh, tickling you with my plague probe. Right, now the space wolves will pile in and fight back. Right now the Grey Hunters fight back. They've all got chainsaws, so there's four normal guys. Hitting on twos, because you're a space wolf. Mm -hmm. Everything hits. Oh, they're angry. Now you need all those fives and sixes again to wound this fetid blow drone. And that's pretty good. Five three-up saves. And I failed two. Two disgustingly resilience. And I pass one of them. So the drone has got nine wounds left. And now the pack leader swings with his power sword. He's got two attacks and he hits on twos because he's a space wolf. They both hit fives to wound. Yep. And one wound. Minus three. Uh, five up and burn. And five up disgustingly resilient. Uh, I save that. So um, I kill one and you take one wound off the fetid blow drown. Now we go up to the walkway. The hunters have been unleashed. And they're striking back against the plague marines. So how many normal attacks or with the chainsaws? Chainsaws, we've got six attacks. Right, three guys. Hitting on twos. Yep. And that's five hits. Out of range for the reroll, but five's to wound, because I'm tough. And that was two, two three episodes. Not that tough, disgustingly resilient. Yes, I'm pretty tough. I made all the saves. Uh, you said there's a power axe in there and something else? Yep. Yeah, there's a power axe in there, so um, he's the guy with a power axe, and then there's a frost sword as well. So okay. we'll go power axe first. That's He-Man himself. He-Man himself swinging his big axe. So uh, hitting on twos with a power axe. Nice. Two hits. What's the strength of this weapon? His strength five. I'm toughness six right now, but okay. two and vitality. Nope. The axe wound. does not find a wound, or just chops up a bit fleshy, rotting <laughs> part. Okay, frost thingy bob? Yeah, so Wolfguard Pack Leader with a frost sword, right. uh, two attacks. Yep. He hits. Two hits. And the frost sword is a plus one, so a strength five again. Yep. Uh, one wound sinks through. AP minus. AP minus three, sixes. And one damage? Yes. Disgustingly resilient. No, you kill a plague marine. Huzzah. And that's the end of this combat. These uh, heroes and mortal enemies might be slugging it out for the remainder of the game. We shall see. I wonder if anyone will back down and break out of combat. 
No morale to test. No tempter. Ba-da, ba-da. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. No morale. No. Everyone's, everyone's happy, fighting away where they should be. And uh, I've got two points, which means it's five points to one. But you're defending these two objectives. So it's five points each. Now, the Space Wolves did take a bit of a bruising that turn, losing a couple of vehicles. The Predator in the backfield is, uh, is a mighty blow. But let's face it, these... Plague Burst Crawlers are somewhat out of position now. Um, and you haven't really engaged with most of your forces yet. So it's time for the Wolf's Jaws to slam shut. Five points each. Let's go to Space Wolves, turn two. You're in the orders for the Space Wolves and they're still determined to take ground. Priority orders received. If the Wolf Lord defends Objective 4, that would be two points for defending that objective, plus three for following out those priority orders. And that's the objective right below the catwalk. Area Denial, that's an automatic point. There are no enemy units within six inches of the centre, but plenty of units within 12. And Secure Objective 3 is deep within the Death Guard deployment zone. Here we are after the Space Wolves movement phase. No units within six inches of the centre, so that is area denial. Now here is objective four for priority orders received. And there is the enemy warlord. Enemy warlord, Space Wolf warlord. Now he could jump onto that objective after charging and stuff, but all I have to do to stop him defending objective four is drop some plague marines down onto it because they have objective secured. So getting priority orders received is going to be very tough. Or I could just run some poxwalkers over there. So to try and prevent that sort of shenanigans happening, the wolf priest has jumped down here. And now the closest thing in line of sight and range for smiting and things like that are the plague marines on the bridge. So they're going to get lit up by uh, magic from Fenris before the uh, space wolves on the bridge pull out their pistols in close combat and try and shoot them. So that's what's happening in the centre of the battle grid. This flank over here, Monkey says, is pretty much lost to him. Hmm, interesting. So at the end of this turn, I might have a significant portion over here. However, round on the right flank, things are looking perilous. I'm in a bit of peril for the end of all things. Everything is moving up. Um, we have Bjorn, we have the Lieutenant, who's not a Lieutenant. Wolfguard Battle Leader. And the other guy. Wolf Lord. <laughs> about to come wheeling in and Bjorn's moved round. These guys have dropped down from orbit. They've got storm bolters firing in. Remember it's minus one to hit this squad with miasma of pestilence on them. So after they unload all of the shots, then there's definitely going to be a charge coming in. Plus we've got the Sakaran in the backfield who can unload. And then the Stormfang, um, he dropped out this squad here and then zipped across the battle grid. And Fluffy is the closest unit to the Stormflang. So I could lose my Warlord. I could lose these Plague Marines. I could potentially lose a Fetid Bloat Drone to some charges. So this flank is, um, that's the peril that I'm in around here. If you manage to pull this off, then you'll tear a big chunk out of the right flank. While the left flank will be strong for the Death Guard. And this battle might start to pivot on its axis, so this is going to be a critical turn for the brothers from Fenris. Right, psychic phase, Rune Priest casting Jaws of the Werewolf. And you need a seven, that's a pass. Let's try and deny. I failed to deny. Okay, so, um, uh, right, that's 2d6 minus my movement. My movement is only five on Plague Marines. And that's an eight. Uh, so that's three mortal wounds, right? It is indeed, yeah. Oh dear. Three disgustingly resilient. Um, I fail two. So two plague marines get taken out. Right, now he's going to smite. Uh, so this is a five. And that's a six. Uh, I think you might be within 24 of Fluffy. Let's measure up. Yes, you are. Let's try and deny with Fluffy. I fail to deny. So another D3 mortal wounds with sp smite. Smite. Spite. My English today. Two. Two. Disgustingly resilient. Um, I make one of them, so that's another Plague Marine died. Oh, we did have a morale on these guys to take at the end of last turn. Uh, I said we didn't have any morale, but they're Space Marines. They know no fear. None of them fell. Now I've lost three Plague Marines, though. This uh, this might be different for me. 
Honestly, I don't know what's going on in my brain today. Same. I've got to try and speak words out of my face. Pistols first, firing in to the Plague Marines, hitting on trees. We all in one because my two guys. Yes, sir. And there's three ones. Which is a good job, really. And uh, in the end, you get three hits, and you're wounding on five, three rolling ones. Okay, one wound gets through, two up. And I managed to, to survive. Right, then we did the pistols over there into that fetid bloke drone, causing no damage. Right, back to here. The squad that just hurtled down from the clouds, firing, there's three storm bottles in that shot, Squ squad, firing into the plague marines, hitting on fours because of miasma or pestilence. You only one? Five hits, wounding on fives. We all in ones again? Yes. There's a one. Okay, four wounds, that's, that's pretty good. Thrip save, and disgustingly resilient. The first plague ring falls. After that squad, the squad that got out of the storm fang, there is a flamer in the front. D6 auto hits into the plague rings for one. Excellent. At least it wounds. One wound. Three up. No, nope. disgusting. No, nope. okay. Only one hit, but at least it kills one. And then the bolt gun shots flew in, and uh, four wounds got through, four thrip saves. Reroll and disgusting. Nope, okay, another plague marine bites the dust. Brother Ranulf firing his plasma gun in now. Are you overcooking it? Nope, <laughs> never. It hits, wounds on a three. Um, Rerolling one because of the oh, yeah. uh, wolf card battle leader. Uh, doesn't wound, I'm afraid. Brother Ranulf hasn't warmed up his plasma gun yet. What is Bjorn doing? Same um, target? Assault cannon into the uh, plague marine. So it's threes because you moved, Yep. and then fours because of miasma. But re-rolling the one, Bjorn hits five times, what a legend. Uh, strength six, toughness five, so he's winning on threes. Re-rolling the one. Okay, three wounds get through, three four-up saves. We're disgustingly resilient. I make one of them. So four plane rings down, six to get through, and spending a command point on keen senses, pick any Space Wolves unit, like a Sakaran. And you don't suffer any minuses to hit when shooting. So that's unloading everything into the plague rings. You know, I think this is very fitting because the amount of firepower this fires out, it doesn't matter whether these guys are miasmed with pestilence, it's just firing into the fog. So uh, what are we doing first? So we'll do heavy boulders first. Right. Because the um, Punisher cannon gets a plus one, uh, sorry, it gets um, reroll ones. Nice. If it stays this way. Okay. So heavy boulders first. Yes. Hit on threes. And that's eight hits anyway. <laughs> Strength five, toughness five. See, I knew this unit would get picked on. And you only get two wounds through. Mm, great. Because they're out on the flank here. So two fours. And disgustingly resilient. I save that one. So still six to get through. However, now we've got 18 shots coming in hot. And the Punisher cannon uh, re-rolls ones when it stayed still, hitting on threes. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. 16 hits, wounding on fives, strength five, toughness five. No, wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. And that was 10 wounds at minus one. Uh, so statistically, perfectly statistically average, I failed half of them. Disgustingly resilient. I failed all of them. Ooh, very nice, thank you. That only leaves the champion left alive and then a grenade flicks out and wounds the champion. And disgusting, uh, D3 damage. Uh, disgustingly resilient. No, and the champion's dead. Right, you've wiped out that entire squad. Right, that's all of this flank fired to remove one unit of plague marines. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of firepower. There's a big smelly mess smeared across this street. Now, the last thing left to fire is the storm fang as he flew over, picking on my warlord, Fluffy. Are we going to get a slay the warlord here? So what are we starting off with? Last cannons, the big Hellfrost cannons? I'm going to start off with a tickle with two last cannons first. Okay, nice little tickle. Hit on threes. And they both hit. Uh, strength nine, toughness six. Wounded on threes. And one wound. One wound. Five up and one. Which I fail. D6 damage. Six damage. Target acquired. Right, disgustingly resilient. 
Um, I only make one. He's got three wounds left, and there's still a lot of firepower to come in. What are we doing next? So, Hellfrost Destructor on oh. focus mode. Okay. And that's heavy three. Yes. Hit on threes. Oof. Only one, one hit. hit. I think we'll command point one of them. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Oh right, wounds on a t uh, three. Wounds on a three. Eight wound. wounds, five up and one. I failed to save. This is d6 damage, three wounds get through. One. <laughs> Disgustingly resilient. And I fail that two wings to get through, and now there's 12 heavy bolters coming in. Hellfrost thing, sorry, he suffers a mortal wound on a six. Nope, okay, now 12 heavy bolters coming in. Right, hitting on threes. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Is that 10 hits? It is. Strength five, toughness six. This is the tricky part. Hmm, okay, four wounds. I have the suppurating plate. Two up save becomes a three up. And I failed two of them, uh, which is, see, disgustingly resilient or this one. See, do I do a command point on the thing or the command point on the, or do I, I'm going to have to command point it. I have to command point it. And I pass and disgustingly resilient on the one wound that gets through, which I fail. Fluffy is on one wound left. And that's the end of the shooting phase in turn two for the Space Wolves. Now we're going to have some charges coming on. Maybe Fluffy isn't long for this world. The first thing you declare to charge on is the Rhino. This is going to be nine inches from that guy. I thought I'd watched. Didn't do any damage. Let's see if they can get in. Oh, they're in. And the Wolf Guard make it into the Rhino. There's a power fifth in that squad, so this Rhino is, is in a bit of peril. Next up, declared a charge from these guys that came out from the Long Fangs. I fired Overwatch, didn't do any damage. They're trying to eat the Overwatch from the Fetid Bloke Drone and lock it up. And they get an 8. I think you said you were going that way around. Well, one can come down there. Anyway, let's move the models. Right, the Wolf Guard move the first model that way and the second model that way. And then the other guys can come around there and stay in coherency, which... Uh, Stops me firing Overwatch anymore because now the Warlord is declaring a charge against the Fetid Bloat Drone and Fluffy. Now he only needs a 4 to get there, but if Monkey rolls a 10, we could be looking at Slay the Warlord. So good luck, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, the Warlord is angry. He is in, like a wrecking ball. Came in like a wrecking <laughs> ball. Right, and then the Lieutenant can, uh, it's a 9 to Fluffy or a 4 to the yeah. Fetid Bloat Drone. Same again, please. And he's got a six. So I think he's engaging the drone. Right, that was a beautiful charge phase. Now, bear in mind I've got six command points and can pay to interrupt. Do you want to hit my rhino first? I don't think so, <laughs> no. <laughs> Tempted, but no. Because if he kills five things yes. in close combat, your saga is completed. Um, so do you want to start off with your warlord and try and kill one thing? Yes, please. Okay, so many attacks coming into Fluffy... Yes, let's uh, suffer not the demon to live. Right, the Wolf Lord has got four attacks, plus one for the Saga of the Wolfkin, plus one for the Wolf and Stone. That's six attacks. Now he's got a Thunder Hammer. That would be hitting on threes, but he's a Space Wolf, so he's hitting on twos. Singing war hymns as he swings away, like Thor, twos to hit. And re-rolling ones, because that's what they do. And all six hits get through. What's his strength on that thing? His strength is eight. Strength is eight. So you're winning on threes, but re-rolling ones because there's the lieutenant equivalent on the black wolf just behind him. Hang in there, Fluffy. You can do it. Reroll that one. Uh, yep, all six. right, four wounds. Four, five up. Demon saves. It's going to be easy, right? No, no. It's very, very hard. Fluffy! Right, what happens is I make one save and take nine disgustingly resilience. That one save splashes back acid on you because of the suppurating plate on a four. No, so uh, he dodges the acid. <laughs> and then nine disgustingly resilience. Fluffy! No, Fluffy's dead. Slay the Warlord, a saga is born. No, he's not born. He needs to kill five things Let's for the saga five. of the thing. One down, four to go. <laughs> After my demon prince fell, we did the wolf guard battle leader plus this squad of grey hunters. Grey hunters, correct. Swinging away at the fetid bloat drone, and because of disgustingly resilient, and because I'm toughness seven, you only put two wounds onto him. 
And now this squad are assaulting the Rhino, the Wolfgar, the champion, the sergeant. He's got three attacks. He's got three attacks plus one because he's within six inch range of your warlord. So he's hitting on threes with a power fist, strangely enough. Or is it twos? It's twos. Is it? No, actually, it's, uh, it's normally threes. Yeah. Minus one, so it goes back to threes. Okay. We're rolling ones because the boss is there. Oh, yeah. Shouting at him. Shouting. Better. That didn't help. He's hit once. Okay. <laughs> We're only on a three. Oh, no. You're going to have to punch with other weapons. Right. Power sword. Three attacks. It's a frost sword. Frost sword. Okay. Same thing, but colder. Yes. Um, three all, hits. All hit. Nice. Five's to wound. Five's to wound. Here we go. We're rolling the ones. <laughs> it shouldn't be so hard to kill a runner. Uh, one gets through at minus yes. three. Uh, I make the save. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got two, four, six. Eight. Who do eight you attacks. appreciate? <laughs> do they get pluses to attacks because of him nearby? They do. So is that 12 attacks? You get one attack extra. So one, two. Is it models in range or the whole unit? The unit. Is it? Yeah. Nice. So this will do it. This will definitely kill the rhino. I'm sure it will. I'm looking forward to this. Hit on twos. That was okay. That was pretty good. One reroll because someone's still yelling. So everything hit. And this is the tricky part. Fives, still reloading ones. Okay, five wounds or six? Uh, we've got five. Five wounds, five three ups. Uh, I take a wound on the rhino. And then in the fight on the bridge, uh, let's see if these grey hunters, Indeed, yeah. I've got it right, can take on the plague marines. So six attacks with the chainswords, hitting on twos, we're rolling ones because we um, right there. Hitting on threes because they've already been in combat. Ah, okay. And that hurt you once. Um, only four hits. Mm -hmm. um, I am toughness six right now, putrescent vitality, so fours to wound, fives to wound. Five. Two wounds anyway, two three up saves, and disgustingly resilient. No, that's the fourth guy in that squad. I might be burning command points to keep them up there. Uh, what else we got? Axe. He man's next. Right, come on, he man, you can do it. Threes. Threes. He hits twice. Yes. He's angry. And this uh, strength, um, strength five. So strength still on five power axe. Nice. Still on fives. Yes. One wound minus two. Yep. Five up. Yep, I make that, and then, is there a power fist in there? There's the frost sword in there. Okay. So, two attacks. Yep. One hit. One hit. Five to wound. Five to wound. That wounds. Minus three, so I need a six. No, and disgusting. Nada. No. Then from the bridge, we went down to this objective over here. The fetid bloat drone killed a grey hunter. The Grey Hunters put one wound back on the Fetter Bloat Drone, and then we come back over here to uh, this combat one more time. So I've got two Plague Marines left with normal weapons, and one of them hits, and... There's a five, there's a wound. Wounds, so yeah, throw up save with a Plague Knife, yep. which you save, and then the champion with his fist misses. And that's it. Uh, oh no, I've got my Plague Probe, Plague Probe hitting back on this squad. Fours, um, two hits, and threes, no wounds. And it is a plague weapon, re-rolling hit rolls of one, which I can't do anymore, because Fluffy's dead. Uh, and then d6 hits with the rhino, one hit, doesn't hit. I think we've just done all the combat, sir. So at the end of that great big fur ball, what happened was, you failed to kill the rhino, but you did kill my warlord which was quite successful. You've hurt the drone, but the drone hasn't hurt you back. You've hurt the guys on the walkway that I foolishly charged into a pack of slathering space walls last turn. And uh, this fight in the corner continues, uh, taking wounds off of each other. Now, I have a morale to take, and the morale is up here. I lost five guys. I am leadership eight. Do I want to roll? So on a one, two, three, I hold. On a four, five, six, I lose models. Or I could just burn two of my command points. It's a 50-50 chance, so let's roll a dice. Two plus five is seven. I hold morale. Of course they do. We've been fighting this war for 10,000 years. And that is the end of Space Wolves turn two. And that was quite successful, considering 
that you uh, wanted to overload this flank and push in as hard as possible, annihilating my warlord and a full squad of plague marines with miasma of pestilence on them is no mean feat. And in the meantime, uh, you've managed to score area denial and slay the enemy warlord, which is taking a psyker out of the picture. And that drops down the reroll to hit rolls of one bubble, and it drops the arch contaminator bubble. And suddenly this right flank is looking perilous. Round on the left flank, however, the Death Guard are still strong. And this fight is a long way from over. So it's seven points to the Space Wars, five points to the Death Guard. As we go on to Death Guard, turn three. Right, here are the Death Guard orders in turn three. It suddenly got personal. I've still got Assassinate in my hand, kill a character. Witch Hunter, take out that Rune Priest and Kingslayer. Take out the enemy warlord. Okay, here we are after the Death Guard movement phase and all the way along the left here, I'm quite strong. However, I don't have very many targets to pick on around the right flank, not so much. So what I've done is the drone that was in combat has broken out of combat and is eyeing up that Rune Priest who's tucked around there and that will be Assassinate and Witch Hunter if I manage to kill him with a drone with one shot because now he is the closest target and that's the only couple of points that I'll be getting this turn. I thought about taking on the Wardlord but with his Storm Shield the only thing that I really had to fire at him was this drone and if I push the drone around so that that character was the closest thing to my drone then um, I don't think I've got enough gun to take out the Warlord in one fell swoop so instead I pulled the drone back and it's going to fire down at this squad here because the Rhino has broken out of combat. These guys that hurtle down from the clouds. They're the fastest unit in the um, Space Wolf army. I need to close down that speed. So I think the mortars from the Plague Burst Crawlers will also go into them as well. Just to, just to chew away the speed that the Space Wolves have. The rest of this stuff here, I, I'm, yeah, it's going to have a free run. So the Poxwalk is advancing forward, putting a screen between me and the Playcaster and the Fetter Bloat Drone, making sure the Playcaster is a bit further forward, so I can't get sniped by a flyer, just like what happened to Fluffy. Um, mortars up and over, as discussed, and looking through the gap, both of them can see that Sakaran. So the Poxwalk is advancing forward, Entropy Cannons can go into the Sakaran, my Malignant Playcaster, I tried to run further forward to smite something juicy, but in the end he only got down there, so um, the flyer is the closest to the smiting. And then over here, big squad of 10 Plague Marines. Everyone got out. Fetter Bloat Drone broke out of combat. I should be able to secure this. So it looks like these two objectives in this portion of the battle grid will be under control of the Death Guard as we go into later game turns. But as discussed around this right flank, it's looking quite quite, uh, quite strong for the Space Wolves. They are winning by seven points to five, so what I really need to do is assassinate and suffer not the witch to live myself, take out this Rune Priest. But before we do that, let's go into the Psychic phase. Let's cast a Smite from this Malignant Playcaster here. I need a 5, and that passes. It would do D3 Mortal Wounds on the Stormfang for 3. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Putrescent Vitality on this unit of Poxwalkers because they're probably going to get charged. I need a 6, and that passes. Would you like to deny... Uh, sorry. Would you like to deny any of them? <laughs> <laughs> Rapid Fire Psychic Powers. Yeah. Um, what have you got left? Um, I've got another guy back there which you can't deny. Um, okay. well, so, why not then? Let's do it. Okay. Plus one to deny because it's psychic hood. And that denies the putrescent vitality, unless you wanted to deny the smite. Let's. No. <laughs> putrescent vitality. We'll okay. So they're just toughness three. And then round here, what I'm going to do is miasma of pestilence on the pox walkers because they're going to get lit up. And that passes on a six and then smites the flyer. And that fails. Right, so two wounds knocked off the flyer. These guys are minus one to hit. That's the end of the psychic phase. Fetid Bloat Drone going for the Rune Priest. Let's try and get some points. And it's fours to hit and everything hit. Absolutely brilliant. Threes to wound. 
and I get uh, four wounds through, four wounds at minus two. So four or five up saves. You make two of them. This is 2d3 damage. Okay, I think we'll command point one on that. Yeah? Why not? Okay. No. No mind. 2d3 damage? For three damage? That's not enough. Well, I'm no. going to command point one of them. <laughs> For three damage, he lives. Yay. So the Rune Priest will live, which means I won't be able to get any points this turn. Right. Let's uh, move into the shooting phase, further into the shooting phase, and fire all the guns, a lot of guns, at these space walls on this objective here. And I thought it was a kill box, but when the smoke clears, two brave space wolves are still left standing. So that's all the shots from this Plague Marine squad and the Fetid Bloat Drone. Right, let's go over here. What I'm going to do is the Entropy Cannons and Slugger are going to go into the Sakaran and the Plague Burst Mortar up and over into these Jump Pack Assault dudes over here, which are called... Wolf Guard. Wolf Guard. D6 shots with the Mortar is four shots. I am hitting on fours, and I get three hits. I'm winning on twos. It is strength eight, and re-rolling ones. Okay, I get three wounds through at minus two. Right, this guy's over here with Storm Shields, so three, three, I'm in vulnerable saves. Roll them one at a time. Hey, you can roll, if, how many have you got with Storm Shields? Three Storm Shields. You can roll them all together if you want, it's fine. Can we do one at a time for dramatic uh, effect? Oh, sure. Okay. Pass. Pass. One dies. One dies. Then the slugger stubber thumped into the scar and doing nothing. Now the entropy cannon's forced to hit. And they both miss. Oh, no. Okay, let's do the same with the other one. Plague Burst Mortar up and over. D6 shots. For three shots, hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on a two. Wounds. Three up, invulnerable save, as they hold their shields above their head. Testudo formation doesn't work. One more gets taken out. And then entropy cannons into the Sakara one. Fours. And both of them miss. Let's do the slugger stubbers, whatever they're called. Uh, nothing. Nothing. So both of the plague burst crawlers have fired. And I've only killed two space wolves so far. Last thing left to fire, last thing in my army that can fire is this fetid bloat drone into these jump back assault dude wolf guards here. Fours to hit. I get four hits through. It is strength six. I get re-rolling ones. There's a couple of twos. Two at minus two. You've got one shield left, right? Yep. So three up in fun. You Ooh. pass and you pass. Good boys. Um, that's in my shooting phase. Have I only really killed two? The Rhino fell out of combat. Poxwalkers don't have guns. Yeah, at the intent, end of my shooting phase, I've killed two space walls over here and two space walls over there. And that's it. I'll not lie to you. That could have been better. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm going to have to charge. Um, these guys are going to charge into these two guys, uh, the space walls down in this corner. Uh, hopefully securing this corner for me. And this Rune Priest is on one wound left, and I need Assassinate. And I remembered, oh, I can't charge with him. I was thinking about charging with him, but he fell out of combat this turn. He can shoot because he's a fly keyword, but he can't charge. So your Rune Priest will live. And those are the only charges. Forgot. Yeah, okay. Let's charge over here with the Plague Marines. Let's see if they make it in, because it's three inches down. Right, I'll be able to make it in. We'll overwatch and come back after the charge phase. Right, no damage done on overwatch. I'm in. There's one guy in there with a plague axe and plague knife. So hitting on threes. He misses. <laughs> right, now we've got the remaining number of attacks. My champion is not able to fight, but there's two guys in here with two weapons. So they have two attacks each. I'm hitting on threes. And... That many hits. Two sixes are two death to the false emperors. So many, many hits. Um, I am strength four. And I reroll ones because it's a plague weapon. And managed to put four wounds on the space wolves. So four, three up saves. And only one of them falls. And that's all the combat that I can muster in this, co in this corner. So the wolf guard battle leader, the sergeant equivalent, will live. He's a grey hunter pack leader? Yes, yes. That's what he is. Okay. 
He's still alive. Um, killed three of them though, so morale might be a thing. Right, then we go up to the walkway and um, I swing first with the Plague Marines, hitting on threes and wounding on fours. Two wounds, two three up saves. And I take two out. And then the Power Fist hits once and wounds one three up and vulnerable save. Three up normal save for uh, the Power Fist because AP minus three. Six up save. Yep, six up, that's what I, yep. And oh, I killed three, yay. Okay, there are two space walls on the walkway left. Who are you fighting with first? I think He-Man will go first. He-Man swings his axe. Hit on threes. Yes. Reroll one because of Bjorn. He hits one, oh yeah, yeah. Reroll one. He hits once. Right, strength five, I'm toughness five, finally. At so last. you're winning on a four. Four. You no. don't wound. So and the guy with the frost sword? Yeah, frost sword, wolf guard, bat leader. Okay. Three, three rolling ones. He hits twice. Uh, strength five again, so four to wound. And that's two wounds, my friend, at minus three. Two wounds at minus three. Eh. Two six ups. I pass one, disgustingly resilient, and I fail that. So I take out three of you, you take out one of me. Uh, finally, one of the blight launchers will fall. Look at that, that combat is drawn right now. It's two models each after I went charging in. And now back over here to the wolf guard pack leader. Well, I think now is the time to... Um... Actually, we can't do it yet, can we? <laughs> You're thinking about playing lone wolf. Lone wolf, yeah. Um, okay. But... Uh, I don't know if you'd want to play... I, know, I get it, at the start of your movement phase, you can play Lone Wolf on him, but he's going to die anyway, isn't he? Surely. But it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> but, but it's at the end of the phase. You, you want to do Lone Wolf for He-Man, surely. Yes. All right, so he strikes back, the Grey Hunter dude. Two attacks. Yes. And he hits twice. Um, Has he got a Frost Sword or Power Sword? It's a Power Sword. Is it fives? No. No. And that is the end of my combat. So that is the end of my turn three. Um, three guys lost there, so don't roll a six on morale. No, nope. and up here, don't low, roll a six on morale on the walkway. No. The Space Wolves, no, no fear. And at the end of Death Guard, turn three, I kill six Space Wolves in total across this entire battle grid. Despite putting shot after shot after shot into the Sikaran, it is uninjured. I don't get Assassinate, I don't get Kingslayer, and I don't get Witch Hunter. I get no points. Has the tide turned in the favour of the Space Wolves? Let's find out as we go into Space Wolves turn three. Right, here are the orders for the Space Wolves. Uh, Monkey ditched secure objective three last turn because it's way in my deployment zone. He's still got defend four, which is Warlord needs to do. Remember, that'd be worth five points. Now he needs to defend six. And uh, Witch Hunter, I want to kill his Psychers. He wants to kill my Psychers. Right, here we are after the movement phase for the Space Wolves, and they're suddenly in a very strong position. Now, here's Objective 6, which they can't defend with a flyer. Not Something with the flyer battlefield role can't start defending it. However, what that flyer has done is dropped down into VTOL mode, and is pointing straight at my malignant playcaster. So after strafing Fluffy to death last turn, he's banked through the skies, hit the air brakes, and that will be a point. And, uh, of course, my character is now the closest thing to that Stormfang. Now, if his Warlord manages to defend Objective 4 in the middle of the battle grid, that is priority orders received for two points for defending that objective, plus three points for the priority order. That's a five-point swing. And his Warlord is now camped on it with a screen of uh, Grey Hunters in front because I want to push the Poxwalkers through to try and objective secure it off of him. But uh, there's a screen there, plus the Lieutenant equivalent, plus Bjorn has come busting around the corner. And to stop me hopping a drone up and over, or this drone round here, round and over, the um, Grey Hunters, Wolfguard. Wolfguard, who were assaulting the Rhino, have come back over here, and I've got his um, flank, I've got his rear. So basically I can't target that character without trying to kill everything around him first, essentially. So um, it looks like the Space Wolves are going to be able to achieve that priority order. And a five-point swing? That could be game-winning. 
Meanwhile, there was the chaplain equivalent, who is called a... He's a wolf priest. Wolf priest jumped up and onto the gantry. And like a hero, he's going to come charging in there and rescue He-Man's squad. <laughs> and these guys will have re-rolled a hit in combat as soon as he gets in there as well, knocking over the scenery. So um, the centre of the battle grid looks like it's going to be secured uh, by the Space Wolves. Sakarin, of course, staying still, getting shots down the table, maybe into that drone. The uh, wolf uh, librarian staying still. And then over here, spent a command point on Lone Wolf. This guy is going to be a hero. Sagas will be sung about him. Now he is a Lone Wolf. He's a character. He's got two wounds and he can reroll all hits and all wounds. <laughs> So he will go down swinging. And it's only a point, so you might as well spend it uh, later on when uh, another one gets dragged down to one uh, wound left. Or when uh, Space Wars are the last pack person in their squad, the last one in their squad. For a point you can do that. Turn them into characters. Reroll a hit, reroll a wound. I like it. So, suddenly, one big fur ball in the middle of the table. Uh, lots of points up for grabs here. Let's go on to the psychic phase. Right, the rune priest is casting smite on the drone. On the drone, yeah. Okay, need a five. And that's a fail, that's sir. A fail. And living lightning, you say? Living lightning, yes. So it's a wolf charge value of six. Okay. And that's a seven. You are in 24 inch range of my malignant play caster. Let's try and deny. Uh, I don't deny you. And this is D3 mortal wounds? D3 mortal. For three mortal wounds, three disgustingly resilience. And the drone takes two wounds. It's down to six left. Right, then we moved on to the shooting phase. The librarian, rune priest, sorry, chucked a grenade. It didn't hurt the drone up here on the walkway. Pistols first shot into the plague marines in close combat. Didn't kill any. But around here, this lone wolf, because he could roll, roll a hit and re-roll a wound, has shot one of the plague marines in close combat over here. Right, moving further into the shooting phase, where are we going with some of the bigger guns? Well, we'll throw some more grenades first. Uh, yeah. We'll go um, Wolf Guard Battle Leader into the drone, hit okay. throwing a grenade. Okay. Threes re rolling ones. Thank you, Bjorn. That's a hit. Okay. Fives to wound. Fives to wound. And it's minus one, which I fail. D3 damage. D3 damage. Here we go. How many is that? I can't see. It's three. Disgustingly resilience. Uh, that drone is on four wounds left. Interesting. So. We'll throw another grenade as well from um, from Nivag. Yes. Um, he hits on twos. Okay. We're rolling ones. Nice. Wounds on a five. Nope. No wounds. Doesn't wound. But grenades exploding around the fetid bloat drone there. Right. Next up, Bjorn filling this street full of flame, aiming at the pox walkers. Number of auto hits. Six auto hits. He's. Uh, He's feathering that trigger there, wounding on threes and rerolling ones because that battle leader is nearby. Is that six wounds? Bjorn knows what he's been doing, right? He's been fighting a war for 10,000 years as well. Disgustingly resilient. Um, four poxwalkers die. And then you spool up the assault cannon yep. on Bjorn, which hits on threes. Rerolling ones because of Bjorn? Because of himself, because Bjorn is cool. Everything hits. Uh, strength six. Yep, winning on twos. Rerolling one because of that leader. Three ones. Ouch. And they all wound. So basically, he got six wounds with a flamer and six wounds with the assault cannon. Bjorn is a beast. Um, disgustingly resilient. Um, two more saves. So I've lost eight poxwalkers just from Bjorn alone. Next, we went with the Grey Hunters and the Wolf Guard. Yes. <laughs> Firing in at the Poxwalkers, Stormbolters and Bolt Guns doing work. There's only four Poxwalkers remaining in the middle of the battle grid. That was painful and a big smelly mess. Right, next up we're doing the Stormfang Flyer, putting its big gun and two Laz Cannons in at the mal Malignant Plague Caster. And um, trying to go for Witch Hunter. And the Heavy Bolters are going back and hitting these Poxwalkers back here. Um, monkey not putting the heavy bolters into the pox walkers because you're thinking about charging them. I think so, yeah. And uh, hack them apart with your fangs and teeth instead. So, uh, where are we starting? So we're going to start on the um, 
heavy three from the Hellfrost Destructor. Nice. Hit okay. on threes. Yep. Just outside the rerolls. So two hits. Two hits is uh, strength eight. Toughness five. So wounded on threes. Yep. It's two wounds and that's minus, minus four. Minus four. So uh, I'm in a ruin, so I need a six. And I make one six. Nice. That's D6 damage. D6 damage, here we go. For six damage. Disgustingly resilient. Uh, I only make two. I think they only have four wounds. Um, that's a big dead malignant playcaster. Then after the playcaster died, only two poxwalkers in the backfield exploded under heavy bolter ordnance. Now we have a plasma pistol. Plasma pistol, yes. Firing at the plague drum. Are you overcooking it? I'm. No, I'm not. No. We're tempted, but no. Not go, on, then. go on. Not yet. Go on. So, uh, <laughs> go on, go on. Re yeah. re <laughs> That's a hit, so you should have had a quick hit. Um, strength 7, toughness 7. Forced wound. We rolled ones it? because the wolf card battle leader. Oh, yes. Wounds, follow up and run. I make the save. And uh, that's it. Um, because we're not firing the Sakaran, right? That's the end of the space. No. <laughs> come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Sakaran firing at? Right, Monkey had a little bit of a think there because uh, he thinks he's going to go charging in and killing the drone and the poxwalkers with this mashup in the middle. So the Skaran is going to fire at the Plague Burst Crawler. I didn't really want to do that because it's an anti-infantry weapon. But this is on nine wounds left, so you could tickle off a couple more wounds. So Heavy Bolt is coming in. Heavy Bolt is first. Three. Five's to wound. Uh, is that only one wound? One, only one, yeah. Uh, three up. Oh, sorry, a four up. Four up, yeah. And then a five up, disgustingly resilient. Nope, okay. It's down to eight wounds left. And I've got 18 shots with a big spooling assault cannon thing of doom thing. Punisher. Punisher cannon, Punisher. Not the series on Netflix. Uh, three to hit. We only one is because it stays still. Yes. Do you think the Punisher on Netflix can re-roll ones if he stays still as I well? I hope so. He's a pretty good shot. With the re-roll, that was 13 hits. Now you need five to wound. And, uh, yeah, so this thing is really good at killing infantry, not so much at killing tanks. Four up saves, because it's minus one, and disgustingly resilient. And I make both of them, so essentially it only takes one wound off the Plague Burst Crawler. And that is the end of the Space Wolves shooting phase. They've injured the drone, uh, killed a chunk of Poxwalkers, and the Lone Wolf down here has killed a Plague Marine. Now we've got some charges coming up. Grey Hunters into Poxwalkers and Bjorn and the Lieutenant equivalent, and I keep forgetting his name, going into the um, Bloat Drone. Who's going to eat the Overwatch on the Bloat Drone? Um, Bjorn. Is Bjorn. Bjorn. Bjorn's going to step up and, uh, and eat it. Sixes. Yes, he does. Then we complete the charge phase. We have charges here and here and here. And of course, let's not forget on the walkway as this chaplain equivalent, forget his name, has gone into the pot plague marines and the space wolves who were engaged since turn one or two. So uh, it looks like the space wolves are about to clear the center. So starting the fight phase, Brother Ranulf, the wolf, wolf priest, is swinging away first. He's got three attacks, plus one, because his boss is shouting at him. And he hits on twos. Hits on twos. Nice. And he's strength uh, five. Okay, strength five, toughness five, and re-rolls the one. Okay, two wounds get through. Minus two, Crozius normally. Minus one, Crozius. Uh, I make a save, fail to save, two damage. Yes. And he kills a Plague Marine. Right, that just leaves the Plague Champion. Now we're down to Bjorn, fighting the Fetid Bloat Drone. Bjorn has five attacks, plus one, because he's next to the Wolf Lord there. And he hits on twos. On twos, re roll ones because of himself. Nice. He doesn't need those re rolls. He is Bjorn, the fell handed. Six hits. Strength 12. 12. Okay, winning on threes though. I still am toughness seven. Re roll in ones because of his, uh, his wolf guard bat leader. Okay. Nice. So four wounds get through. AP minus a lot, I take it. Minus four, yeah. Okay, five of them runs. Um, I pass two of them. How much damage does it do? D6. 2d6 damage. 2d6, yes. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Three. That's not enough to kill this fetter bloke drone. Mind you, you've got the lieutenant guy. Are you yeah. going to re-roll any of them or are you keeping them? 
Um, you still got five command points. Left. I'm gonna re-roll one of them. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll the one, so I'll stick with the two. Re-roll yeah. the one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For one. For one. Okay. Only three wounds through. Fair enough. He has been. Um, he flamed and shot and killed like twenty-eight poxwalkers there. Uh, maybe his fist is a bit warm from all the flame damage. Five up, disgustingly resilient. No. Okay. The drone is on one wound left. And uh, it's down to your Wolfguard battle leader to try and finish him off. I actually got the name right that time. Right, checking the rules. Bjorn gets to re-roll all wounds with True Color, so he missed with two of his wounds. So we'll go back to Bjorn. <laughs> this is the wounds again. Uh, he gets one more wound through. Five and done. And I fail that. D6 more damage. For five. Okay. Disgustingly resilient. And the drone is dead. And when the drone dies, I'm spending a command point on putrid detonation. Every enemy unit within seven inches of him will take a wound. And guess what? There is a rune priest here on one wound left, and that will be Assassinate and Witch Hunter. And after the drone exploded, uh, the Wolfguard battle leader took a wound, the Warlord took a wound, one in this squad here that are about to assault the Poxwalkers died. Bjorn took a wound, but then ignored it on a five up because he's Bjorn. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but I did kill that uh, rune priest there. You can score in your opponent's turn. So that's two points to me. Um, oh, need to take this model away. And now we have the Grey Hunters attacking the Poxwalkers. And the Poxwalkers die horribly. Then this Wolf Guard squad consolidates towards the closest enemy unit, which happens to be my champion on the bridge backing up and uh, surrounding their warlord there. I like it. They came busting forward, slaughtered the Poxwalkers, and have taken a step back to uh, defend their uh, captain. Now, the last combat, I believe, is the wolf, lone wolf. The lone wolf against the um, uh, plague marines down in this corner here. So he has two attacks, and he hits on threes. Rerolling everything? Rerolling everything, because he's, he's a lone wolf, yeah. He's angry. Okay, only one hit. Fives to wound. And that's a wound. At minus three, I need a six. And I make the save. I make the save. That's the end of all the Space Wolves combats. So I'll fight back. Let's try and kill the, uh, the Lone Wolf, seeing as the camera's pointed this way. Um, I need to pile in first, though. Try and get my fist in there. Yep, my Power Fist is now able to strike, hitting on fours. And he misses. That's a one and a two. Okay, let's swing away with the other stuff. Right. This number of attacks with plague knives and double weaponry. Oh, look at that. Three sixes. Three death to the false emperors. So many hits. Wounding on fours and re rolling ones because it's a plague weapon. Uh, only three wounds on your lone wolf, sir. Okay. Can he be a hero? He has got two wounds now as a lone wolf. He's already a hero. <laughs> and he takes it. Brilliant. And then there is the plague axe, which hits once. It's strength five, and doesn't wound. He is certainly a hero. I wanted him dead, because then in my turn, I'd be able to break out of combat and start making my way up the table. But he is holding up that entire flank on his own. Right, over here, He-Man and his last remaining Wolfguard get to pile in and strike my champion. Can they take him out? Um, they've got plus one attack now. They're in range of their Warlord, yeah, so... Yeah. He, he man swinging his axe, hitting on threes. And on threes. Re rolling everything because of the dude who Brother jumped Ranulf. off. Brother Ranulf. Okay, two hits, and uh, he's wounding with his axe on fours. Yep. He wounds once. Minus two is a failed save. Five up, disgustingly resilient. No, you clear the bridge, finally. So the battle swung one way, and then the other. Can the Death Guard swing it back again? Let's find out in turn four. Right, here are the objectives for the end of all things in turn four. Grandfather's Gift. I score a victory point if at least one enemy unit was completely destroyed and the last model in the unit was slain by an attack with a Death Guard model attacking with a plague weapon. So that's possible. Mission critical objective turns out to be objective six if I jump on that one. That's possible as well. And scale the skies, take down that flyer. Well, it's only taken two wounds so far, and I don't fancy my chances with those plague burst crawlers because they can't hit for toffee. 
Okay, here we are after the Death Guard movement phase and it's Operation Kill the Flyer. Right, the first thing I did was advance this unit of Poxwalkers around and I had to spend a command point, down to um, three command points left, to get onto Objective 6. So I do control that, that's a point. Now I need to scour the skies, so the idea is to throw everything I can at the Flyer. It is currently in VTOL mode and the Plague Burst Crawlers can hit it as well. And the Rhino moved, the uh, Fetid Bloat Drone moved, and this Lone Wolf may be a hero. And he may hide his age and his weakness and his regrets. He may be a stoic space marine, but those doubts, those, those misgivings inside of him, that's the touch of Nurgle already running through his veins. You see, Grandfather Nurgle always wins. Decay is everywhere, and we are the end of all things. So let's uh, let's go into the psychic phase. What was that? I didn't sign up to be a, a servant of Nurgle. You you will be. That's not what I came here for. <laughs> right. Uh, no, but you see, because death and en entropy and all of those things, they're part of life. They're part of life. You see, it's a Nurgle thing. Keep boy the <laughs> Are you enjoying that cherry bake well? <laughs> Psychic phase. I'm gonna do um miasma of pestilence or putrescent vitality. You're gonna come in on the pox walkers. Or you're gonna come in on the tank. Or you're gonna come in on the putrescent vitality on the pox walkers. No, miasma on the pox walkers. I need a six. Right, that's a seven. You're within seven inch range of a malignant playcaster when he gets a seven or more. It does a mortal wound in addition to the power. Now uh, you can't deny anymore. So that uh, Stormfang has taken another mortal wound. It's lost three in total. And the Poxwalkers are minus one to hit. And now I'm gonna smite the flyer. And that's, an, uh, that's a 10. So that's greater than seven. So that's another mortal wound plus D3 for one more. <laughs> so three mortal wounds off the flyer. Okay, onto the shooting phase. The flyer's got uh, nine wounds left. Let's shoot him with a pistol. And a miss. Okay, <laughs> let's do the Fetter Bloat Drone up at the flyer as well. Poxwalkers don't have any shooting attacks. Um, the drone hits twice. Uh, I need sixes to wound. No, what am I talking about? I need fives to wound and I don't wound. Okay, so that's everything from the drone <laughs> fired. Right, let's go across to the Plague Burst Crawler. Number one, firing up at the um, flyer. And it's forced to hit because you're in VTOL mode. They all hit. It's strength five. This is the stubber slugger thingy bob weapon that I can't remember. Five's the wound. One wound at minus one, sir. One four up save. Here we go. And it makes it. Uh, two entropy cannons coming in at the flyer. Forced to hit. It hits this time. Last time I couldn't hit the toffee. Uh, strength eight. Toughness seven? Yes. Three's to wound. They both wound. Ouch. AP minus four. No save, I believe. No. 2d6 damage. For 4 damage. Command point. Command point. I'm down to 2 command points left. For 8 damage. The flyer's on 1 wound left. And now Mortar rains down. He slowed down to take on Fluffy and the Playcaster hovering there. Now Steel Rain falls from the sky. Number of shots. 5 shots. This could do it. And if I kill something with a plague weapon, including in the shooting phase, this will be that other um, thing in me jig as well. Four hits, beautiful. And uh, grandfather's gift, that's the one. Strength eight, re-rolling ones, it's a plague weapon. Uh, two wounds at minus two, sir. Two, okay. five up saves. Here we go. And you fail it. And it will do two D3 damage, killing the flyer, which blows up on a six. Please don't blow up. Let's see, come on. Nope. Five. No kablooey, and that is Grandfather's Gift, and Scour the Skies. As soon as he dipped into VTOL mode. As soon as he dipped into VTOL mode. Yeah, he yeah. did um, he, he did his work, he took up uh, two characters. Yeah, he slayed my warlord. <laughs> right, which does leave this Plague Burst Crawler to fire. So, um, I can see Bjorn, but he's a character, so I can't fire at him. Hmm. So what I think I'll do, they're a troop's choice, yeah? Yes. So I'll drop a mortar on them. Can I see them with the other gun? 
I can see them with the other gun and I'll do the stubber slugger thing that I forget the name of into them and the mortar and then the entropy cannons up into the Sakaram. So let's do the stubber slugger thing. <laughs> Forced to hit. One hit and it doesn't wound. <laughs> the mortar does three shots hitting on fours. All three of them hit. It's twos to wound. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. I get three wounds through at AP minus two. So three five up saves. And only one Grey Hunter bites the dust. Nice stuff. Two Entropy Cannons into the Scarum. Miss Miss again. All the shots that have gone through these streets into the Scarum have missed. Mind you, I guess it's a kind of narrow... Walkways. Yeah. These buildings are taking a battering. Um, that's the end of my shooting phase. We're now into the fight phase. And this lone wolf will succumb to his injuries. He must die. So... Spending a command point on veterans of the long war. I mean to take him out. Plus one to wound. Let's hit him with a fist. The hit fist hits both times. I don't know if I needed it. Two's to wound. Two wounds. Two six up saves. You can do it, buddy. Come on. He makes one of them. He's got two wounds because he's a lone wolf. Is he? It's one, so he gains two wounds. Gains two wounds. D3 damage. He's lost three wounds. He's dead anyway. A lone wolf falls. They will sing sagas of his heroicism. Heroic. They will sing sagas about him back on Fenris. And strangely enough, that's the end of turn four. That was a very quick phase. Um, I do score all my victory points though. I get grandfather's gift after securing objective six, and I uh, got scale the skies. So it is ten points to six because it was seven to six. Ten points to six. But your Warlord has achieved his mission critical objective, defending that one for two points, plus three points for mission critical objective, making it 10 points to 11. The Space Wolves are in the lead by one point. Now let's go on to the Space Wolves, turn four. Now here are the Space Wolves objectives. They've still got defend objective six in their hand. That's where the Stormfang died. Supremacy, take any three objectives for D3 points. An overwhelming firepower, just shoot something to death. So the Space Wolves move forward to press their advantage. Now, the He-Man squad has jumped down onto that objective there. The Sakaran is on that objective over there. And this Wolf Guard squad have moved forward to contest objective 6. Now you need to defend it, but if you manage to take it off the Poxwalkers, then that will be supremacy as well for D three points and there could potentially be a lot of firepower coming in on these pox walkers meanwhile the uh wolf guard squad wolf guard squad wolf guard the grey hunters yes grey hunters there the wolf guard that were around here guarding the uh, rear approach have jumped forward along with brother ranolf and they look like they're about to go into the pox walkers as well deep deep in the uh death guard deployment zone so, some significant pressure there. Meanwhile, the Wolf Guard Battle Leader and the Wolf Lord are making their way up the central street and they are spoilt for targets. Do they go right or do they go left? Do they go into the tanks? Do they go into the fetid bloat drone? Um, I'm getting pushed back into a corner all of a sudden. Interesting stuff. Very few units left on either side. It has been a bloody, bloody game. Let's go on to the shooting phase. Right, opening up the shooting phase, Bjorn spooled up his assault cannon, took a wound off the fetid bloat drone, and now you're trying to clear away these pox walkers to secure objective six. So starting off with the grey hunters, there is a flamer which auto hits the pox walkers. D6. For one hit. For one. Lovely. And wounds them. Five up. Disgustingly resilient. No. The fire just burns and flickers around me, but uh, boils off a few things, and then the bolt guns come flying in. Sorry. This is a force to hit because of miasma of pestilence. And then we'll reroll one. And there's a one. So four hits get through, and you're wounding on threes. Yeah, yep. strength four. Okay. Disgustingly resilient. I am disgustingly resilient. Only one poxwalker dies. Now, this is the thing. Do I start taking from the front, or do I start taking from... No, take from the back. Try and stop you get suprem stopping you getting from suprem English. See, it's going again, babbling incoherently. Trying to stop you get supremacy because I just need a couple of. Mind you, you'll probably outnumber me on that objective once you come charging in with those guys. So I don't think it really matters where I take them from. 
Um, where are we firing next? <laughs> We're going to go for the... Storm bolters. Wolf guard storm bolters. Yes. Into the pox walkers. You could shoot the drone instead if you wanted. I could, but I'm not going to do much with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hitting on threes, no rerolls because everybody's too far away. Yes. Hitting on fours because of miasma. Hitting on fours, sorry. <laughs> Tried to cheat you a little bit there. Many, many hits. Uh, blow, yeah, threes. And um, five, six wounds get through. Let's see if you blow off bits that I don't need. Um, no, you blow apart bits that I definitely need. Six of the Poxwalkers die. Then old brother Ranulf fired his plasma pistol in. Didn't manage to target one of these Poxwalkers. Now the only thing left to fire is the Sakaran Punisher. What is the Punisher picking on this time? The Punisher is going to go for the crawler. Yes. Just to try and plink some wounds off. There's not many uh, infantry in uh, line of sight because you've been very good at hiding your... Uh, Okay, guys. well you did uh, one wound to the uh, Plague West Crawler last time, so you're definitely going to do more this time. But I think if the Punisher is firing at tanks, he probably needs Daredevil or Jessica Jones to help him out. So um, where are we firing first? So we're going to do the Heavy Bolters first. Yes. Because you've got to do them separate. Yes. Um, so threes. And that was eight hits. Pretty, good. pretty good. Fives again. Two. Two. Two uh, four up saves. Nope, no wounds. Okay, um, it's a it's an anti infantry gun, bar none. It can destroy infantry units rather easily, but uh, against solid armors. Right, eighteen heavy shots. The Punisher without Daredevil is coming in, hitting on threes. We rolling ones. And there's a one. A one. Many twos. And it's got through, wounding on fives. Uh, three this time. Three. Three four ups. I make them all. This time it didn't do any wounds to the Plague Burst Crawler. Right, and that's the end of the Space Wolves shooting phase. And many Pox Walkers died. Uh, now we're charging. Where would you like to start, sir? So let's start with the simple ones first. So let's okay. go um, Grey Hunter Squad yes. into the Pox Walkers. Okay, good luck. Don't roll a snake eyes. That'll do. That's a 12. I think they might be in. Mm -hmm. Then after the Grey Hunters engage, the Pox Walkers, the Wolf Priest and the Wolf Guard manage to come smashing in there as well. So uh, their hands are about to get very sticky as they battle some zombies. Right, any more charges? Yes, we're going to go for um, Nivag, yes. the Wolf Lord, into the Crawler. So I say there's an 8 inch charge. Okay, 8 inch charge. I think I might shoot some Overwatch at you. I think so. Okay, uh, let's do this on camera, just in case some of these entropy cannons hit. One of them hits. <laughs> Ouch. It will wound you on a three. It doesn't wound. He's got six wounds left and a storm shield. No, nope, it's an eight inch charge. I'm not going to spend a command point on it. Let's see if you can make the charge. Okay. Six. And that's a failed charge. I'm going to use a command point. To yeah, you've got four one. left. Nine does make it in. After the Wolf Lord made it into combat, then the battle leader tried to get in as well and failed the charge. So that's the end of the charge phase. Now we're into the fight phase and uh, we're starting over here with this big mess of Poxwalkers and Wolf Guard and Grey Hunters and Brother Ranulf. Oh my. And the Poxwalkers didn't stand a chance. They got wiped out and then the Grey Hunters, who were last to strike the blow, have consolidated into the uh, Malignant Playcaster, who will strike them back in a second. First of all, we have a Wolf Lord, Battle Leader, attacking um, a Plague Burst Crawler. Wolf Lord, Battle Leader, Wolf Lord. So he's a Wolf Lord, he's a Battle Leader. Yes. He's not a Wolf Lord Battle Leader. He's a Wolf Guard Battle Leader. He's a Wolf Guard Battle Leader. Nearly there. <laughs> it's only turn four. I need about eight more turns, then I'll... Uh... So he's hitting on twos with his big hammer of doom. Yes, so he's got four attack space. Yes. One for the wolf and stone. Lovely. Which is relic. One for the saga of the wolfkin. Yes. So lots of wolf things. Uh, and he rerolls ones because of himself. Yeah, it's a bit like a smash captain, but on a um, big big dog thing. Big furry dog, yeah. yeah. Here we go, ready? Hit on twos. We're rolling these two ones because of himself. Shouting at himself. Okay. Strength eight. Strength eight. And toughness eight. Fours. He's just outside for the reroll. Okay. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two five up and vulnerable saves coming up. 
I fail them both. How much damage? Flat three. Flat three damage. So six disgustingly resilience. And uh, I pass two of them. Take four wounds on the tank. It's down to four wounds left. Then the tank struck back, revving its engines, did no damage. Then we're over here to the malignant playcaster. Three is to hit with his corrupted staff. And three is to wound. And one wound at minus two, so five up. And I take one of you down after killing his bodyguard of poxwalkers. And that is the end of turn four for the Space Wolves. And uh, no overwhelming firepower scored because uh, you forgot about the rhino in the backfield. There's a rhino over there on one wound left, and that would have been overwhelming firepower. But to be honest, we completely forgot about it, both of us, until we started summarising this turn. However, you are, have started to defend Objective 6. It is 10 points to 11 in favour of the Space Wolves, and you've got three objectives for D3 points for supremacy. So uh, let's see how many more points you get. To the big three. So it's four points. The Space Wolves are four points in the lead. 14 points to 10 as we head to the end game. Turn five. Here are the orders from the malignant playcaster. Get behind enemy lines. He wants to master the warp as well. Cast a spell or two and secure objective three. Here we are after the death guard movement phase. I am losing by four points. However, there's objective three. I'm scoring that one. If he masters the warp, that's another point. Over here, the Plague Marines that finally took out that lone wolf have got inside the Rhino. And the Rhino is all the way up here for behind enemy lines. That's three points right there. And the Rhino is uh, hiding, so the Sakaran doesn't have line of sight. The idea is I charge it. If it goes on to turn six, then it will have to fall back and cannot shoot. So there's three points. Now to draw, if I kill his Warlord... That's Slay the Warlord. And uh, you're right in front of a Plague Burst Crawler with Entropy Cannons. And the drone that was there has jumped up and over and it's got some Plague Spitters. Now these Plague Spitters have only been doing two or three shots a turn. Really need more than two or three shots a turn this turn. But that's the plan. And then I'll get four points. And then it'll be 14 each. And then you'll have a turn. Yep. And maybe, just maybe, I could win. But if it goes on to turn six... See, we've got so few models left each. Just one wrong draw with the cards or one missed dice roll. I'm saying it's hanging on by a knife edge. Both of us are in peril now. Earlier on, I was, it was, yeah, it's looking bleak. Right, let's, um, let's pull, the, no, not pull the trigger. Let's cast a spell. Uh, he's going to be a bit selfish and put Miasma of Pestilence on himself. That passes on a nine, which does a mortal wound to the um, Grey Hunters, killing one of them. And then he's going to smite, unless you've got a card in your hand. What are you thinking? Uh, I was thinking about using um, Talismanic Shield. Okay. Which will, uh, I should have used this at the start of my your psychic phase. Okay. Choose a character, yes. and I can attempt to de deny one power. Well, you'd need a ten to deny that one. Yeah, second thoughts, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to cast another spell. No, it's too late, it's not at the start of the phase, so carry on. But I didn't give you a chance. That's fine. <laughs> so one's dead with Pestilental Fallout, and he's now minus one to hit. Smite. That passes. That's a five, which does another mortal wound, plus three. Basically, they're all dead. They're all dead. There was three left in that squad. I'll just take them away then. And that is um, Master of the Warp. I know the Warp. Well, I live in that place sometimes. It's like a nice holiday vacation. We go there when uh, we've done enough murdering and killing. Right, um, Plague Burst, no, Fetid Bloat Drone is going to shoot at these jumpy dudes. He hits on fours. And that's four hits. That's not bad. Uh, it's strength six. And I reroll once. And I do three wounds at minus two on your jump pack, dudes. Okay. Okay, so I wouldn't take on the Storm Shield. Okay. Because if he dies, then the punchy fist is gone. So. Okay. Here we go. Ahead. Five up saves. And you only lose one. Nice. Brave. Okay, psychic phase good. Shooting phase not good yet. Right, let's cook your Warlord. I'm going to chuck some Plague Acidic Filth. In on him. In on your wolf guard battle. No, wolf lord. Wolf lord. He's just a wolf lord. 
Has well, he got a name? Just top, Wolf Lord is top. What? Is, Wolf Lord is top of the chain. It's not just a Wolf Lord. It's, it's just, just a Wolf Lord. Lord. Riding around on a bear, thinking, look at me. I'm not on a wolf, I'm on a bear. Plague Spitters. Um, seven shots, that's perfectly statistically average. Uh, strength six. Uh, what's your toughness? Toughness Three is long ones. Three long ones because it's a plague weapon. Uh, I did six wounds at minus one, sir. So. You've got shield as well, right? You're a smash captain. Yeah, yeah. Three ups. And he makes them all. <laughs> Loving life. Yeah, he's definitely top dog. See what I did there? Top dog. I like it. Yeah. Kind delicious. Yeah. Let's shoot you with two entropy cannons. They both hit. I Ooh. feel he may have been a bit over eager in his charge. Three's to wound. Command point. Ah, oh, only one wound. One three up and vulnerable save. Three up, here we go. Yep. Yeah. You no. failed the save. Wait. Do you want a command point now? Command point. <laughs> three up and vulnerable save. Ah, oh, you make it. Yes. He makes it. He's alive. Slugger stub of things. Three hits. And um, did I fire this already? No, I didn't. Nope. Uh, two, uh, one wound because of your high toughness. Uh, one three up again. And he finally fails to save and goes down to five wounds left. I would never call Space Wars dogs, by the way. Okay. You are the noblest of the noble emperor's finest. Right. That's the end of the shooting phase. Uh... Charges. Yeah. Charge in? See, if I charge in with the drone, then you can't fall back and charge that. Nope. So let's charge with the drone. Drone gets in. Can I will watch with a grenade? Have you got a grenade? Yeah. Where grenade. does he keep it? In his little wolf pouch. Okay, in the wolf pouch. Misses. Now let's see if the rhino can make it into the Sakaran. We've already got down and double checked. You cannot see me. And I will fail that charge. This could still happen. Right, fours to hit with three attacks. This isn't going to happen, I only got one hit. <laughs> Wounding on a three. That's a wound, minus two. Oh no, you don't worry about that. You're no, shooting. we don't care about minuses on him. And he's fine. And now you can smack my fetid bloke drone back again with your 68 attacks. Only six. Only six, only sorry. Six. Not 68. Hit me on twos. Hit on twos. Um, Rerolling, because you're space wolves. Uh, they all hit, yes. and you're wounding on... Strength 6, so... Toughness 7. 3. 3 is to wound. 5 wounds. 5. Invulnerable saves. Uh, I make 2. That's 9 damage. That's flat 9 damage, yeah. Yeah, I've got 7 wounds left. Disgustingly resilient. Come here. Disgustingly resilient. I make 2, 3... I make 5 of them, look. Only taking 4 wounds. Good work. Uh, he's got three wounds left. Right, I had a plan. It didn't work. But uh, at the end of turn five, at least I get three points. 13 points to the Death Guard. 14 points to the Space Wolves. They're in the lead by one point. If it ends in turn five, they would have won. But um, they've got so few units left. If this goes to turn six or even turn seven, it could be anyone's game. So let's go on to Space Wolves, turn five. Right, it was 13 points to 14 in favour of the Space Wolves, and then we just remembered that Monkey managed to defend Objective 6. So it's 13 points to 16 in favour of the Space Wolves. They're three points in the lead. Now they need to secure Objective 4, overwhelming firepower, shoot something to death, an Oath of Vengeance. Basically, I have to pick a character, and if he kills that character, he gets an extra point. Here we are after the Space Wolves movement phase. Now the only character I have left on the table is my Malignant Playcaster down here. So um, if the Space Wolves kill him, then that's a point. Here's objective four. He-Man and his friend was on it a moment ago. There's another point. But He-Man and his friend are busting forward because there's a combi melder in that squad. And they mean to take on the Rhino. The Rhino was a bit exposed last turn up here. So I tucked it in so the Scarron couldn't pick on him. But now this squad can pick on him. And there's is there a power fist in that squad as well? Nope. Nope, just a combi melter. Mind you, only one wound on this rhino, and Bjorn can light him up as well. So potentially overwhelming firepower, as well as securing objective four, as well as killing my malignant playcaster down here, which would be three more points. And then the battle leader is coming around to join in the wolf lord. And finally... Sakaran has moved for the first time in this battle. 
and uh, is eyeing up the Plague West Crawler on four wounds left. Melter firing at a rhino, hitting on a three. Hitting on threes. That's a hit, wounds on a three. That's a wound. And that's a wound, and AP minus four, no save, and it automatically goes boom. Spending a command point on putrid detonation so it blows up automatically, doing D3 mortal wounds for three mortal wounds, taking those two heroes no. out with a... Yes. Man. Yes, I did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm playing the bad guys, you know. Right after the rhino went kaboom, the Sakaran is putting all of his shots into the Plague Burst Crawler. And the Sakaran managed to put eight wounds into the Crawler. Here's the saves of four up. And then, disgustingly resilient. Uh, and, this, and the Plague Burst Crawler only takes two wounds. Then the battle leader chucked a grenade into the Plague Burst Crawler and it's only on one wound left. Nearly went kaboom there. And then Bjorn spawned up his assault cannon and put two wounds into the Rhino. Now the last thing left to fire is the firing squad arranged around the Plague Burst Crawler. And what I meant to say was Malignant Playcaster. Right, um, firing in with a plasma pistol, hitting on a four because of my asthma of pestilence. And it misses. And then we've got Storm Bolters. Many shots coming in. So, fours to hit. Four to hit. Um, Oosh. Lots of many misses. Many misses. I blur into the shadows like a ninja. Like a smelly ninja. A stinky ninja. <laughs> uh, five to wounds. Five to wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. You know, I could give him a name. Um, Fluffy My Demon Prince and Stinky Ninja, the malignant <laughs> playcaster. Uh, three up saves. You smell him before you see him. Yeah. Five up disgusting. He's fine. He's fine. He's a stinky ninja. I think that's the end of your shooting phase. Um, there might be some charges coming up now. In the charge phase, the firing squad surround the stinky ninja. And over here, the battle leader can't get through this gap here to get the Plague Burst Crawler, so he's joined in with the first in command, the Warlord, to take out this fetid bloat drone. So, shall we start here? The camera's pointing this way. Yep. Your guy with many, many attacks. Six attacks hitting on threes now, because he didn't charge. Um, charging units first. Oh, oh yes, of course. The battle leader first, okay. Sorry. Three attacks, Yes. Um, plus one because the boss is uh, okay. motivating him. So, uh, motivating him. He's hitting on twos. Yep. We only won because extra motivation. That was a five. Okay. Our strength, uh, five is strength six on this one because power more is plus two. Okay. So five to win. Five to win. One win. AP minus. AP minus one. Four up. Nope. How much damage? Power one is only one. Five up. Nope. It's down to two wounds left. That's the charging units. Oh no, we're over here to many charging units. Indeed. Old man Yarl. I think Brother Ranoff is. Uh, Brother gonna, Ranoff. He's going to take the skull, I think. He he's not going to be able to hit because I'm a stinky ninja. <laughs> so he's got three attacks. Yep. Hitting on twos. Okay. We've all done everything because of himself. Okay, so he's hitting on threes. So you can't hit, do the natural one, but you yep. can re-roll the one. Sorry, I forgot about the. Uh, That's okay. Stinky ninja. So one hit. One hit. Nice. And we've got um, strength five. Moving on a four. Four. No Doesn't wounds. wound. Right now, the wolf guard. Yep. So we'll start off with the uh, with the power fist. Yep. Uh, three attacks. Um, would be hitting on threes to fours. Back to threes, threes. Again because yep. of stinking ninja. Yep. So threes we roll on because of runoff, which is a good job. You One get hit. Uh, two death to the false emperors there. That's not how we roll, I'm afraid. <laughs> and then uh, threes to wound. Two wounds. Two, wounds. two six up saves. I fail them both. Two D3 damage. Uh, for three damage, which is not enough to kill him. Five up, disgustingly resilient. He takes a wound. <laughs> he takes a wound. You just tickle him with that power fist. Yeah, he's, uh, he doesn't want to move, does he? Okay. Okay, so. Chainswords? Chainswords. Three to hit because of the minus. Indeed, the pluses and the minuses. Yes. Rerolling because of uh, Brother Ranulf. Yep. Okay, that seems better. Yeah, it there does. is five to wound though. Nice. Three, three wounds. wounds get through. Three, three up invulnerable saves because he is invulnerable. I make them all, and uh, that means that malignant playcaster has only taken one wound, denying you your saga. 
Uh, now we can, oh, that's your charging units. Now you get to hit with your Wolf Lord, trying to take out this Fetter Blow Drone. So six attacks hitting on threes and re-rolling ones. And there's two twos. Hmm. Wounding on threes with his Thunder Hammer. Uh, I see two. Is it just two? two? Just two. Two five up and vulnerable saves. And make one fail one. So that's three damage. Five he three. has three wounds left. And I make two of them with Disgustingly Resilient only take a wound. And that's all the charging and non... Right, okay. So I might as well start over here. Mm -hmm. Play Probe hitting your dude. I hit on fours. Which dude? Um, the Wolf Lord. It's a Wolf Lord. It is indeed. Okay, I got one hit in. I'm strength four now though, so I'm winning on a five. And I reroll ones because play button. I don't wait. Okay, over here, Stinky Ninja. Brother Ranulf, I challenge you to a duel, sir. Accepted. Is that still a thing, this edition? Threes to hit. Uh, it is now. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Everything hits. Spent six. I'm wounding on threes. Corrupted Staff is not a plague weapon, but it is minus two, and that is two damage, two wounds, okay. and it is D3 damage a time. So you need to make... Do you have a four up and vulnerable save like a, normal, vulnerable, yeah. like a normal chaplain? So two wounds, yeah? Yes. And you make the saves. So we clobber each other, but do no damage to each other, and that is the end of Space Wars Turn 5. And you have some points. And so at the end of turn five for the Space Wolves, they do get overwhelming firepower for popping open that rhino with a melter. And uh, they paid for their trouble when it blew up in their face. And Bjorn manages to secure objective four as well for two more points. But um, don't manage to take out my malignant playcaster there for Oath of Vengeance. So two extra points for the Space Wolves, making it 16 points to something. 18, 18 points to 13, and the player who went first rolls the dice to see if the game ends. So uh, I went first. Um, we go on to turn six, however, however, I had to think about that. Did you, did you hear the brain cells clunk? I hear the cogs. It's there. 18 to 13. Uh, do I concede? Let's see what the cards are. One minute, one minute, one minute. I got a good draw. <laughs> Defend objective five, secure objective one, and supremacy. Right, it's 18 points to 13, so there's five points in it. And in your words, it would be the greatest comeback. The channel has ever seen. I know, it could potentially. Um, I get D3 points for supremacy, and I'm on one objective here. And then the unit that was in the Rhino got out on that objective there. And then the Rhino went around there. So there's D3 points for supremacy. Not only that, that's the defend objective, and they're plague marines, and they're really hard to shift. So at the end of your turn, there should be some left there, which means I'll get two points. So if I get the three for supremacy and the two for that, then that's five points, and I've closed the gap. And I've also got secure objective one, was it, or secure objective three? And secure objective one isn't going to happen. Um, but for extra points, there's Line Breaker, which you're also Line Breaking as well. And that is still Slay the Warlord. And so the Bloat Drone has popped up there. The Entropy Cannons on the Plague Burst Crawler have got the uh, Wolf Lord dead to rights. I can't miss twice in a row, right? And Stinky Ninja has broken out of combat, ready to do some Psychic <laughs> Mastery over here. And potentially this could sting in turn six. I'm trying to sprinkle some narrative in it, but right now I'm hanging on by a thread and i have coming down to using names like Stinky Ninja. But he will be legend if he survives this, unlike, you, unlike your lone wolf. The legend of Stinky Ninja. <laughs> There's a film in that. There is. Right, let's do um, some psychic power. So Miasma of Pestilence seemed to work on him last time. Let's do it again. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I want to do the... Um... That part. Like right, okay. Putting you down to one command point left. Yep. So um, I just rolled a seven. You could try and deny that on an eight if you'd like, or if you want to wait for me to get the super smite off, it's up to you. I've got to do it at the start of your phase. Have you? Okay. So you need an eight to deny, so I rolled a seven. And you deny me. Mm. You deny Stinky Ninja. Okay, smite. And the smite fails. <laughs> I really need to that. No, okay, that's the end of my psychic phase. That's fine. I'll keep that last command point left just in case I need it for something juicy. 
Right, the fetid bloke drone is going to fire down in at your wolf guard. Yep. Force to hit. And I hit three times. And it is strength six. And I wound twice at minus two. You've still got that storm shield in there. Yeah, I think we'll um, we'll keep the storm shield because okay. he's got a punchy fist. Two four up saves. Five up saves, Five up sorry. Saves. Yeah, two die. Two die. And the storm bolter on the rhino will fire at the Scarum. We'll do that in a second. This fetter bloke drone will fire down in at your wolf lord. Number of auto hits for eight. But I'm only strength four right now versus toughness five, though I do re-roll the ones because it's a plague weapon. And in the end, I still manage to get five wounds through Pretty at good. minus one. But you've got a storm shield, so you, have to leave. you fail one. What's the damage? One, just one damage. Fine, I'll take that. How many wounds has he got left? He's got four left. Okay, let's shoot you with a slugger stubber thingy bob. Forced to hit from the tank right in front of you. Three. Pardon me, three hits. Strength five. Two wounds at minus one. Not that you care about the minus, but so two more three up saves, sir. And you make them entropy cannons. Command point. Last command point. Only one hit. <laughs> three to wound. Wounds. Three up and fun. You fail the save. Command point. D6 damage. <laughs> command point. My, la my last one. You make the save. Well worth it. Okay. Uh, one minute. This one. Who's closer? Your lieutenant's going to be closer, isn't he? Yes. I think. Mm. Imagine. Mm. Well, actually, the front of his dozer there. Yeah, it's definitely going to be your lieutenant. Yeah, the lieutenant's closer. The wolf guard battle leader. Yes, this guy. The one in the, on the black wolf. Right, and then I just remembered I had Plague Burst Mortars as well. So firing the Plague Burst Mortar up and over on... No, he's got the scope and bun. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to fire it on his head anyway. Number of shots. Five shots. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Wounding on twos. Two wounds on your three up and vulnerable save shield fisty guy. Here we go. He's dead. He did. And then two entropy cannons into the guy on the Black Wolf. One hits. I need a three, and I wound. If you minus four, does he have a shield as well? He's got a shield as well. You got shields everywhere. Never leave home up then. And you make the shield, and then the slugger stubber thingy bob. Uh, two hits. No wounds. Let's do the storm bolter. Storm bolter didn't do anything. Meanwhile, round here, the plague marines that got out of the rhino, I did put the two plague burst crawlers on this side of the building on purpose. Are going to fire into this guy on the black wolf. Uh, that's four shots hitting on threes. Three hits and wounding on threes. Uh, two wounds at mine. Well, two storm shield saves again. And you make them. Okay, so in the shooting phase and in the psychic phase and in the everything phase, I've killed your wolf guard. I can't charge into him this turn because I fell back out of combat. Um, I haven't killed your. Hmm. But I am going to charge your Sakaran. So there's going to be many, many, many Overwatch shots coming in. Because I can charge with that Rhino and still control that objective for supremacy and shut you down from shooting in your phase. Right, then the Rhino made it into combat. It took a one wound, one wound as it made its way in there. And that is the end of my turn. That is the end of Death Guard, turn six. I've started to defend this objective here. Haven't really killed much except over here, the wolf guard. I didn't kill the warlord, but I do get D3 points for supremacy because the rhino is still on the objective, plus the plague marines, plus this better bloke drone here. So looking for a big three, I get one point. And so it's 14 points to the death guard, 18 points to the space wolves. And this is the way the world ends. At this point, I'm going to concede, because we just had a look at your cards. They're pretty good. And this Plague Burst Crawler is on one wound left. All yep. you need to do is assassinate this character here. That's an extra point. You've got Line Breaker. Both Vengeance on the same character for another point. Yeah, but even, even if at the end of this turn, if you get zero points, and I get two points there, I'm still losing by two points. And then we'd roll a dice, and it would go on to turn seven. 
But uh, <laughs> the opportunity for me to get more points at this stage, looking ahead at what cards are available and what I can do at this stage, basically, it's not going to be a great comeback. Instead, it's going to be a terrible failure. Or a brilliant victory on behalf of the... Yeah. Heroic victory. A heroic victory on behalf of the Space Wolves. And the main reason why I'm conceding at this stage is because I want Stinky Ninja to survive this battle. <laughs> he's going to run away. He survived. He's got a name for himself. And go back to the plague ship and say he was there the day the Space Wolves came to Babington 9. Do you know the... Um, Death Guard on Babington 9 have been doing really well. Even the Custodies came against us and we beat them. But here, here in this sector, it seems that the Space Wolves proved too much. And uh, it was difficult at the start, wasn't it? It was a struggle over here. Uh, and it was it was difficult. And I remember at the start of turn two, we had a big discussion off camera about maybe dropping in stuff here or to the right or to the left or what could you do? And in the end, you decided, no, you were going to overwhelm this flank secure this area and then push out from there and it turned out to be a very good tactic because I had significant ball control by the end of turn two which doesn't happen with the death guard very often really big ball control but um, your recruits your reserves sorry came in like a wrecking ball and smashed everything utterly and sniping out fluffy there that was a beautiful move um, I felt a bit like I felt I should have seen that coming, because I've done it quite a few times. Well, that's why I did it, because I've seen you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how are you finding Death Guard? you fought them very much before? Um, a couple of times before. Yeah. Just so tough to shift. They are, aren't they? You need to kill them, and then kill them again to make sure. Yeah, <laughs> kill them twice over. Yeah. I really like that tank against infantry. Yes. Against everything else, it's useless. It's not very good. No, I think the um, lanes of fire. Yeah. And I think you did very well to keep your uh, to keep your, um, your plague marines hidden. Um, That's true. On this particular battle grid, if it was more open, yeah, then he could have picked on more targets. I think he, he did his job because even just the kind of the threat yes. of those tiny seven shots yes. did enough to, get, to keep your guys' heads down. I think it so. did actually. It, I, I was careful not to come up this way or not to get. Yeah, I was. I mean, the guys in the Rhino that ended up there ran all the way around the edge of the battle grid just to. St and even when I got them out to charge in the Lone Wolf hero who survived for many, many turns, even then I thought, oh, now they're sat on this building, you could pick on them. But you yeah. didn't pick on them. No, I think it was. Um, more pressing targets in the centre at the time. Yeah. But in the end, it was a noble victory for the Space Wolves. Um, I think we'll call it here. This thing, scenery brought to you by Zen Tourette. Well, I can still speak, basically, because I'm running out. I, I say running out of the power to speak. I you don't. Wouldn't. It's been. <laughs> I don't think I had it to begin with. Uh, this battle map brought to you by Hot Dice Miniatures. This um, uh, terrain brought to you by Zen Terrain. Um, Monkey, brought to you by a car along the M4 corridor. Indeed. From a faraway land known as Wales. Very exotic. A land of dragons and mystery. Uh, thank you everyone for listening. I hope you enjoyed that battle report. Happy Wargaming.